Yo, what's up? Good morning. Hopefully you're having a great day so far. Nice start to your Monday. I started off my day a little bit scuffed because I got stuck in traffic. There's never traffic in Akron, Ohio, but there's a big accident, I guess, on the uh, on the highway that I take to work. So my commute, which usually takes 15 minutes, took me like 50 minutes this morning. Uh, but it's all good. We're here, and we are ready to roll. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, wonderful to see you. Thank you, Slade, for the Prime sub and the 29 months to kick the stream off. I appreciate that, Slade. Thank you very much. Over the weekend, uh, anybody do anything nice, exciting? Anything fun? Any Anybody go to any cups, challenges? Maybe just relax at the, at the crib? Oh, that's nice, Jester. Took a nap for four hours. That does sound magical. Oh, that's great, Jamie. You won a local tournament with Darkrai, Joker. Congratulations. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. What did I do? Whew. Chillin'. Uh, I spent pretty much all last week... Um, I spent working on that uh, Bax Caliber video, so hopefully y'all liked that. I spent a lot of time working on it, and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, I did like the, uh, you know, I made the new animations for Bax Caliber or for uh, Chen Pao and stuff. Yeah, I like that little, the ice and that was fun. Like the way that turned out. So, if you haven't already, uh, make sure to check out the Bax Caliber video. Uh, these things take a lot of time. Dang, yeah. I mean, you see, like, I had to take off streaming on Friday so that I could crank this video out because I was like, I just, you know, it just needs to get done. And I was. I was like, I want to say I was like done with the animations and I was done with game one going in to Friday. So, you know, thank you, Ghosted Gengar, for the sub in the five months. Appreciate you, Ghosted Gengar. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I was done with like the animations and I was done with... um editing game one going into Friday. So then I started editing at like 9 a.m. on Friday and I didn't eat lunch or dinner or anything and I didn't take any breaks and I edited from 9.30 to 10.30, 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. and it that's how long it took me to finish. Thank you, Kangarooster, for the sub in the 21 months. Yo, what's up? How you doing? Thank you so much. So, yeah. Videos are... Uh... Yeah, thank you, Acacia Strain, for the Prime sub. They're tough. But part of it makes me question everything I'm doing and whether or not it's worth it because, like, I could just... You know, I could just start cranking out PTCG live videos that would be so much easier to make and make me, you know, and and, and just be so much better <laughs> for for viewership and stuff. So part of me is like, dude, I should I should just quit for sure. <laughs> it's not worth it. Oh, it can't possibly be worth it, right? So you know, with uh 
And with all the hard work also comes some good existential crisis. So I, uh, I had a good amount of that. You know, finishing the video was like a relief and, uh, and I was proud of it, you know. But then also you finish and you're like, why am I doing this to myself? Um, shouldn't I just, <laughs> is it worth it? It can't be worth it. <laughs> so last week we did spend some time uh, guessing as to what the new, uh, guessing as to what to the new Kanto starter EX Pokemon um, we're going to do. And we did talk about poison, burn, and confuse. Sure enough, potent whip does poison and confuse. That's a very Venusaur effect of an attack. And its ability allows you to heal. So, I mean, they've been doing a lot of, like, healing abilities on grass Pokemon. I mean, just in the last handful of years. Those have pretty much never been good. But... Venusaur does have 340 hit points. A lot of HP. I still just... No, that card, no way. Ain't no way that that card's going to be good. No shot. Charizard is cross-eyed. <laughs> yeah, this Charizard, bro, is trying to like deeply analyze a spot on his own forehead. And it's not working out for him. Yeah. Sorry, Charizard. Yeah, they just <laughs> they just made you whole cross-eyed, man. <laughs> it's got the resolute wings attack to 60 damage and then if this Pokémon has any damage counters on it, 100 more damage. You can obviously put that damage on with Magma Basin. So, you know, that's cool. And then you're doing 160 damage for one energy, which is great. That's good damage output for sure. And then detonating Vortex. We said during our prediction that this was going to do way too much damage for way too much of a cost, and that's pretty much exactly what we got. However, if you pair Charizard EX with Pokemon Go Charizard, then, you know, you only need two fire energy in order to do 330 damage. And 330 damage for two fire energy. Well, that's pretty good. That's not bad, you know? So, now we're talking. That could be a thing. And then Blastoise has a damage reduction ability. Um, that's kind of a funny artwork. Are they all like the same kind of style? Yeah, where it's like, like they're are they three D? Are they all five band? No, he's all right. I look forward to whatever sort of alt art or whatever. I feel like he looks too rigid here. But anyways, he takes three hundred thirty hit point Pokemon who takes minus thirty damage from attacks is just a really beefy dude. So you kind of have to respect the chonk on this thing. And then Twin Cannons, 140 damage. You can discard up to two basic water energy from your hand. Does 140 damage for each card you discarded. So 280. If you discard two water, Planeta is basically five band. Got it. Okay, so it's another, uh, yeah, it's another, got it. Yeah, they're another 3D studio. Yeah, I don't I don't like love this, but that's fine. It's like, you know what? Um it's it's fine. Pokemon's been putting a lot of investment into like the alt art and illustrator rare, you know, all that yada yada. So that'll be sick. Looking forward to seeing what the secret rares look like, you know. So that's cool. But yeah, this dude's huge. I mean, that's just a he's a big chunky dude. I do really like the artwork on this war turtle. That's wonderful. Yeah, he's super cute. And those are nice. 
So he's a big chunky fella. Very fun. I actually think Charizard Charizard seems like not bad. But water is gonna be very popular, so that'll make it bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Bax Caliber and uh Chen Pao EX coming out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't it's not looking good for fire type Pokemon. Snatch Arm. This is like a team rocket. Um like a team rocket tool thing. This looks like something like <laughs> one of those arms where you could like it's got the pinchers on the end like one of those plastic arms where you you can like grab things kind of looks like that look at your opponent's hand choose a Pokemon you find there and put it at the bottom of your opponent's deck that seems way too cute to ever be good but it is kind of funny then there's the leftovers tool which Heals 20 damage if the Pokemon is in the active at the end of your turn. So it's not between turns. It's just at the end of your turn. This does not seem very good. Uh, Radiant Serena is just better, right? So I'm thinking that's a no. Now this card, Erica's Invitation, this card is good. Yeah. Yeah. This card, let me tell you about a deck that likes this card. Mew VMAX. <laughs> yeah, Mew VMAX. Just imagine, your opponent reveals their hand, choose a basic Pokemon you find there and put it onto their bench. Then you bring it into the active spot. What happens when you use it and they have nothing in their hand? Then you just get to take a peek. <laughs> the Pokemon Removers from UV Max, since you always rock Sand Drapion into their hand. Yeah, well, the thing about this is that decks like Lost Box just have like, they can amass like 20 card hands. You know, and they just got the stuff in it. They got the juice in the hand. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can't play Eric as if they have a full bench. No. But you could play collapsed and then vacuum the collapse and then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So there are, there are workarounds, but obviously, yes, jamming the bench does help. You could also play cards like Avery just in your deck to, you know, make your opponent discard Pokemon, and then they might not be able to fill their bench the following turn, then you could do this. Sounds like I have a good Copium source. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Mew VMAX is going to be completely shut down by that new Sableye card, so. Or not, Spiritomb card. So I got to be finding some copium somewhere. I don't, eh, you know, I mean, like looking at this card, thinking about this card, um, I've been thinking quite a bit about like the card design and just things that have been good and places where I've been wrong, right? In like the last few years, like cards I've been wrong on. One of the cards that I was the most wrong on is Battle VIP Pass. I was just wrong about this card. And one of the reasons I was wrong about it is because everything that I had learned about being a competitive Pokemon player up until this point would have told me that this is not a good card, right? Like everything, all the decks that I played up until this point would have been like, oh, that's too situational, right? You can't do that I mean, it's like you're gonna jam your deck up with all these bad cards right <clears throat> but i think like and everything that i had learned up until this point like cards like this had not 
really been good. Um, but I was wrong about that. I think like, right. <laughs> but the card is played in almost everything, right? Because you have to set up turn one. And with the turn one supporter rules being the way they are, and you can't play a supporter turn one going first, you have to open something that you can play going first. And, you know, in a lot of situations, that, that thing is just battle VIP pass. That's the thing that you want to... Um, The thing about the concept of discard fodder is that, like, you only have 60 cards in your deck. You usually don't want to play bad cards just so that <laughs> you don't, like, good deck building. You don't usually want to just play bad cards so that you could discard them. Think about, for instance, think about a gym leader challenge deck. You don't play bad cards in a gym leader challenge deck so that you can discard things easier. You don't do that, right? Uh, because you're going to play 60 good cards in the deck, right? That's just the concept of deck building. You're just you're going to put 60 good cards in the deck. You're never going to put bad cards in with the with the thought of being like, "Oh, well, that'll be an easy discard." <laughs> like you're never going to do that. So it's kind of like a trade-off where you're like, oh, well, if I put Battle VIP Pass in my deck, at least I'll have an easy time making my Ultra Ball decisions. <laughs> right. But I think part of what I, I was doing a little bit of, I was doing a little bit of thinking, a little bit of brainstorming, and it was just like, Part of, of, I guess, growing as a Pokemon trading card game player and part of, like, you know, kind of getting into the game long-term, long-term, I mean, I, I've been playing for over a decade now, is, like, understanding and embracing the fact that the game is going to fundamentally change as time goes by. And part of what's going to make you a better Pokemon trading card game player is not just understanding what cards were good in the past and what strategies have been good in the past, but also being able to like adapt and change and embrace the kinds of new direction that the game is going in the future, right? So uh, I think, you know, as I look at cards now, I'm trying to think of them in the battle VIP pass kind of way. Like maybe this kind of card would not have ever been good previously, but maybe the game gets to a point where this kind of card could be good, right? So obviously having a strong understanding of like the history of the game and where the game's been can help you determine whether or not cards are going to be uh, widespread good or not. Um, but also, I feel like, you know, with the way that the game is always changing, there's always room to be surprised. So I think that, uh, you know, leaving room to be surprised by the Pokemon trading card game and new strategies, I think, is like, is good. So, yeah. This card, if you are looking at past cards, Mawile EX you know, was one of, or GX or whatever it was. Yeah, Mawile GX was one of the most, like, oh my gosh, what an absolutely... Oh, a lot of people were wrong about Battle VIP Pass because it seems so bad. <laughs> it's, it seems so bad. You're like, holy smokes, I got to play four of these for the chance of opening one, and then I got to deal with four of these being dead in my deck. Um, but yeah, Mawile GX was like insane. In a format where like 
the game was very turboed out and, you know, players had very regularly had like Dedenne GX and Crobat V in their deck, right? Going first and just slamming down Mawile GX would very regularly just like catch Dedenne's and Crobats and stuff. So, you know, this was, and and then the crazy thing about that was that, you know, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX would use Ultra Creation, and then you just go, boss, boss, you know, game. You know, you knock out the little guys that you, yeah, that was, shoof. So, you know, Erica's invitation in a lot of ways is a, um, it's like a dialed down version of that. Audrey says, remember when you said ADP was terrible? You just sit there and wait to get hit. Yeah, ADP was terrible until Zashian came out. I stand by that. ADP was not good. That ADP Caldeo deck was not good. I will stand by that through and through. Yeah, that ADP Caldeo GX deck was trash. It was so mid, yeah. <laughs> and it literally was. Like back then, there was no extra way to accelerate energy into play. So you'd go turn one, attach to ADP, pass, right? You go turn two, attach to ADP, uh, alter creation GX, please don't knock me out, right? And then if they did knock you out, you simply lost. Because you had to start manually attaching to Keldeos. Once Zashian came out, none of that mattered. Because even if your ADP got knocked out, you go saucer, saucer, boom, three prizes. Saucer, saucer, boom, three prizes. And you were good to go. So none of that really, you know. Zashian... Also was just hitting, you know, 260 damage with the buff and then with like, uh, well, there was a damage mod. Yeah, Zashian was insane. But this card... Man, oh man. Yeah, this card seems much more balanced. I don't know that, like, most decks won't be able to, like, play this card, right? Because most decks need to play draw supporters on their turn and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't think most decks will be able to accommodate for this card, but some decks might be able to. And a deck that draws a ton of cards like Mu VMAX certainly could accommodate for this. But decks that need to, you know, decks that don't have any way of searching this out or, you know, it's not going to be. I don't think that this is going to be the most impactful card ever, but it is cool and I like the card design. Good for stall decks. Yes, certainly. I'm sure Sander, yes, Sander will be excited about this, for sure. Because it's just another way to trap things. So that is that is quite good. And we also got what, Onyx and Raichu, Thumping Avalanche. Discard the top five cards of your deck. It does 80 damage for each Pokemon with a retreat cost of exactly four you discarded. That's a silly deck. That is quite silly, isn't it? And then... Raichu with the grind, the grounding ability, which is kind of like a permanent experience share. Does 180 damage for three. I do think that I like the... Uh, the new Illustrator Rare Raichu better if we're talking about, like, playability in Gym Leader Challenge format. I think that one seems stronger, just doing 200 for three. Uh, the downside of doing 50 damage to yourself as a 120 hit point Pokemon is, like, pretty bad. But 
This onyx is funny. There was a Steelix not too long ago. Thumping Fall. Discard any number of Pokemon with a retreat cost of exactly four from your hand. Okay. Now this one's got a little bit of randomness to it. Thank you, Bretts, for the prime sub and the 16 months. Appreciate you, Brett. Thank you. Onyx has got an 80 times multiplier, but it's random. So you'd have to stack your deck in some kind of way with... Is there any way to... There's switching cups, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mind Blown TCG, for the Prime sub in the nine months. Appreciate it. Dude, 380 damage per turn is all I'm seeing. This deck has no flaws whatsoever, and I think that this world is currently not prepared for Onyx to be in standard. <laughs> That's so sick. The next big tournament's going to be so boring because of the lack of variety since everybody's going to copy this deck list. Before you ask questions about consistency or lack of support, <laughs> I want you to know that all of these... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Yeah, that was that's wonderful. Yeah, I love love that. Here we go. You ever just need like a little more caffeine? <sighs> yeah, just a little bit more. We'll be all right. All right. Should I play good decks? Or should I play bad, silly decks? <laughs> Meme Monday, huh? Someone was asking me if I could revisit Lunatone and Soul Rock. I think that this deck is like pretty much unplayable filth without scoop up net. I am going to Portland, but uh... <laughs> yeah, this deck is going to go crazy. Yeah, get the, get the Mewtwo's out of here for sure. Listen, we got the trekking shoes. Is there anything you think we can do to this deck to make it slightly more playable? Choice spell, right? Delete it? No. We need Manaphy. <clears throat> what 
Weirdier? Use Penny as a scoop up replacement? You're so, you're so right. <clears throat> Are there any other cards that can pick up my soul rock? Collapsed in carrier, holy smokes. Yo, Gardevoir EX? That's so true. Oh yeah, this deck's going crazy, dude. Well, I mean, this pretty much looks like the perfect deck, if you ask me. Really, all you gotta do is two Hikeo things. Cross switchers seem like doing a lot. Honestly. Two Hisuian heavy balls? I mean, I guess you don't want those soul rocks prized. You can Thornton the Greninja into Soul Rock. <laughs> it's true. Don't you need to, like, do you need to switch it all with this deck? Not really, right? And do we need Choice Belt? Yeah, you need Choice Belt. Yeah, this deck looks crazy. Do you need Avery? No. <laughs> I do like Avery, but I guess like if you want to keep your two hit KOing things, you don't want to give your opponent an opportunity to remove something damaged. Put a deer in here to Thornton into a Lunatone. A deer? Weird deer. Serena is good. Yeah, you probably want like Serena. I feel like cross switchers, I'm not super sure on these cross switchers I think the cross switchers seem bad thank you runner dude for the sub in the 51 months yo 51 months thanks runner dude the choice belt Pokestop doesn't even grab the choice belt anymore oh we also gotta totally go battle VIP pass here yeah I'm realizing this whole search engine is is not correct You need VIP pass, 
And then don't need no fog crystal. You could do like two. I think just level ball and yeah, yeah, level ball is good. Sure. Boss, I feel like you want like ropes. Like three rope, three boss. We go three stop. <laughs> Two Drapheon? <laughs> Defiance ban, but we're going to be winning. We stay winning, dog. Hey, thanks, Lakobo, for that prime sub. What you don't you don't think that we could beat Mu V Max? So we gotta play a Drapion? We're gonna start it. You don't think we can beat a theme deck? Dang. Big hater. Yo, we should put the Drapion V-Star in there. To give ourselves a V-Star power. Alright, what V-Star power could we give our deck? Let's think of all the V-Stars. Mewtwo, yo. Mewtwo, that's so right. Star Raid. Oh, that's so bad. Yo, Sky Seal Stone, though, with the Drapion? Could go Pidgey out with the four seal stones, true. Weird deer in sky. You could go Drapion and Weird Deer. Unknown. Make them all weak to Psychic. Too bad the Unknown V-Star is going to leave play because it's going to get knocked out instantly. All right, there we go. You guys think we're winning? I think I need some nest balls. Too late now.
why don't you let me create the prediction that says, will I win? Yes, no. Will I win? Doesn't like that. Will I be victorious? All right, it's not letting me create the prediction chat. Will we're dear uh win? <laughs> All right, yeah, it's not letting me. Oh, Brandon already made it. Thanks. <laughs> Man, I started weird here. This stinks. Listen, you can't see chat when you're trying to make a prediction. So. All right, I'm playing against an Arceus deck. I think we got this one in the bag. Most definitely. can't even imagine a world where I lose this one. We'll conceal some cards. Oh, baby. Level ball. We'll get one of these gamers right here. Choice belt there. I actually should have put it. Yeah, well. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Trekking shoes. Do I want that? No. Oh, you're right. No sky seal stone. That's fine. Trekking shoes. No. Poke stop. Let her rip. Woo! Sheesh. <laughs> Scape rope. Oh, yeah, dude. Sun energy. Sun energy. Sun energy. And I'm going to go, yo, Moon Kinesis, bro. <clears throat> well, let's go. You get smacked, son. All right, so what do you have to move from the bench to the active spot? Okay. I see. Huh. So I think what we do is I escape rope up one of these dudes and knock him out with weird ear. I don't know, maybe. Or a Raihan. How many energy am I about to have down? Four. Alright, so you got Trinity Nova. Who's getting who's getting juiced here? No, Geov, you want to know, are travel expenses paid for ICs in the World Championships? No. No, unless you win, specifically unless you win a travel stipend, then no. Um, okay, we'll promote Soul Rock. Okay. Level ball. Grab this guy. Let's go Pokestop. Goodbye, boss. <laughs> That's my second boss's orders for sure. 
Okay. So then... Alright, I might want to put fog crystals back in the deck. Maybe. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Why did you not power up Caratina at all? That doesn't make any sense. No, I got rescue carriers. Look at my tiny little mana fee. Itty bitty little mana fee. He's so small. Okay. I'm going to go sun energy. Three times. A one. A two. A three. <laughs> And then I'm just going to go escape rope. Yo, weird you're getting in here. <laughs> okay. Well, congratulations to your son, uh, Giovanni. I'm not the best person to ask. Um, I do know that you have to qualify, um, but you can reach out to the Pokemon Company International uh, and they should be able to explain everything to you. Thank you, Goofy, Gengar, Phoenix, Nightmare, and Jay Rip for those subs. Let's go, chats. Psy Shield Bash. Giratina's out of here. Yo, thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate you. And M Jetstar. Chat, you are closing in on a hype train. It is a hype locomotive pulling into the station. Thank you. I'm getting judged. Yo, I'd be sick if I could use this Sky Seal Stone right now, but it's all good. Thank you, Giovanni and Vodouche for those Prime subs. Let's go! And Mythic Alex, 23 months, just one month shy of two years. Yo, thank you guys. Let's go. Appreciate it. And a path to the peak? Not cool. That is totally... And they did 230 damage. And my weird ears knocked out. Oh, we're losing for sure. <laughs> I'm losing bad. <laughs> Yo, thank you, DJ Backwards, for the sub, and Dayshell for the sub. Thank you. McClid with the 22 months. Dang, this is ugly, isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, we're just going to schmack for as much as we can. Okay. Top deck incoming. Davy Broy, I don't know, but I appreciate your sub wherever it is. Floating around there in the internet. Thank you. I know, the choice belt knockout, dude. Killing me, bro. <clears throat> and then I've only got one boss's orders left. Why is my discard... Does anybody know why this was glowing? Why is my discard glowing? Thank you, Trippy, for that gifted sub. Appreciate you, Trippy Twitches. Thank you. Do you guys see any abilities in my discard pile that I can use? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Do you see any abilities over here that I could use? Because I do not. It's a magic discard pile. Is this Blue's Clues? Why are there gloves on the Beeb? Thank you, Bergman, for the prime sub in the 39 months. Yo, let's go, Jay Bergs. It's the power of love in my discard pile. I like that. I need something to keep me going in this game because... Uh, It's looking like I'm going to lose. Well? Well, well, well. Don't you look at what we have here. <laughs> Just in time. So you're saying there's a chance. It's possible. So now I need my final boss's orders in deck. Yeah. Easy. And I need like a damage buff. No sweats. <laughs> look at the tiny little trekking shoes. Oh, look at the itty bitty little trekking shoes. Okay. They're going to share and scare? No way. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. There we go. Definitely would have preferred the trekking shoes there, but that's okay. All right. All I need is somehow... Some way to one hit KO an Arceus V Star. They're powering up the Beeberl, as you can see. Industrious incisors, there's no chance. You ain't playing no Sharon's care. Free Sody girl for the deer. I'm getting judged. All right, that's good because this hand stunk. Come on. All right, we got rope. Now I just need boss. That's it. Boss off the top. And I literally win. All I need. One card. Boss's orders. Come on, baby. Let's go. Here it is right here. Dang it. <laughs> what the heck, bro? Was so close. That's the one I need. Dang, bro. All right. Well, we had a chance to win this game. Well, let's see. Who do you think they're going to promote? What if they bring up <laughs> the damaged? Dang it, bro.
Stall with Drape. If I put Drapion in play, I won't be able to put an attacker into play. Yeah, what if their deck has zero energy? Dang, bro. I can't believe I was so close. Dang, bro. Just like that. All right, well, we were never supposed to beat Arceus decks. We would have won if I got to use my Sky Seal Stone. That wasn't terrible. Bad variants, it's a perfect 60. I think I'm kind of with you on that. Except I think that the level balls are like, you're going to want... <clears throat> why is why is level ball better than nest ball? It's not really, right? So is a nest ball just better? You can use it with a full bench. I suppose. Okay. Thank you, McCurry DeGooey. Three Nest, three Crystal. Fine. Appreciate you, McCurry. Thanks. 31 months. Let's go. Catcher? Yo, Ridgeway, appreciate you. Thank you. 21 months. Catchers are pretty gamer. <laughs> Dang, look at that. New Pokemon catcher. I don't own a fourth... Please. Well, and then the thing about catchers is that the Pokestops get them for us rather than discarding them. So, that's fine. I like that. Okay. All right. Our next prediction is going to be, will I promote a tier or drop a tier with rocks? Okay. Promote, drop. I'll play until I'm going to play rocks until one of those two happens. What if I stay in limbo? I'll play rocks until one happens. I don't care if it takes days. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the Rock Subathon. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Well, yeah. Gosh, I'm going to be doing so much damage. That's not the best opening hand. Am I playing against Mew? All I got to do is Sky Seal Stone, one Mew V Max, and then knock out something else. Easy. All right, we're up against Mew. This opening hand is looking strong. I actually have the rescue carrier in my hand, so we let that go. Okay. And then we can seal some cards. Thank you, Sharpling, for the sub in the 33 months. And here we go. Now we cooketh. We got a soul rock in the discard pile. Only one energy in the discard pile, though. And my hand is dead. That's fine. We just do that and pass. Yeah, we're chilling here. I want to save the fog crystal in my hand because I, I need more psychic energy. So I want to top deck a psychic energy in a way. I also, it's my best opportunity to draw cards. So if I find a psychic energy, I can use concealed cards to see two more cards. So that's good. I don't want to drape beyond yet. In fact, it could even just be like a cycle draw situation. I've got some time in this matchup. So we can just cycle draw and uh, probably sack a turn doing that. I'm getting judged, though. This is a fine hand. Really, if I can, you know, like two hit KO a Genesect, a Genesect with Moon Kinesis... That's really what we're going for. That'd be great. I'm not a big featherball guy in Mu V Max. I think that deck I think that card kind of stinks. Holy moly! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. All right, my opponent's on that on that next level stuff. That's what they got going on. Yeah, they on that next level spice for sure. Okay, we got the stop. Yeah, we'll just let that rip. All right. Only one energy in the discard pile. That's fine. Cycle draw. I know. They're getting ready for Spirit Tomb. I respect it. I, re I respect it. Come on now. One Bieber L. He's doing his best. It's like Fusion Strike System for a little less. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares about Spiritomb? That's what I'm saying. My opponent 
My opponent's got the right idea. Yeah. I ain't worried about no spirit tomb. No. But you still got to play Genesect because you got to be able to Techno Blast. So. I'm telling you, they're going to set up the Beeborel and it's going to be broken. <laughs> See? <laughs> Seeing is believing, chat. Okay, so they've got their their muse. Yeah, really, we just need to you sky seal stone drapeon one of them and. You two hit KO a genocide, or even maybe even one hit KO a genocide. And they can't psychic leap, right? We've got them locked out of psychic leap. So they can't do that. Listen, Arceus was always a bad matchup for Lunatone Soul Rock. Always. Avery, you monster! That's fine. No sweat, dog. Yeah, we cool. We got the rescue. We got the carrier right here. Now, I'm not necessarily drawing any cards, which is kind of, you know, not cool, but I could just cycle draw again. It's probably time to actually try and soften up one of these Genesects, though. Or I could just go for a two hit KO on UV. They, they can't psychic leap. So I could just try to knock out two Mews, which is probably fine. Now you're just showing off that you can Industrious Incisors under Path. You just wanted to show off. Yeah, they. it's a 2-2 two -two Bieber L line. That's for sure. Yeah, 100%. Okay. You think they got another Avery? No. That would be silly. See, so if I attach here, that's not even a 2 KO, not even close. We're going to see if we hit a catcher heads. I would do. All right. I'll swing into this guy. Metal jump scare. Sorry. Okay. Moon Kinesis for 150. I don't have enough energy in my discard pile is the problem. 
But if I had energy in the discard pile, we would have taken a knockout, yeah. Should have never gusted up that Genesect. Bang, the four seal stone. Crazy. You think they four seal stone for the penny? I'm going to have to like... I'm going to have to cycle draw again. It's not great. Oh, yeah. They got nothing. They got... Wait. How could you have nothing? You have four seal stone. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, they went ahead and messed up. That was the last thing they should have done. Gust up the Greninja. I can't even use Greninja. The path is out. We don't need more outs to path. This is bad variance. Maybe more draw supporters. Maybe. Again, I have zero energy in the discard pile. It's fine. We got time. All right, Moon Kinesis for 180, sure. Gears could have been fine, yeah, but we do need Gus cards, so that's okay. Nah, just a couple more supporters and we're good. The paths have stopped us from drawing with Greninja, so like that's part of the issue is that we're just getting stuck with path. It's only been two games and we're just getting stuck with path. Serena's could play Serena's for sure. Okay, they've knocked out my fellow. I mean, honestly, though, this should be like pretty straightforward dub, I think. Listen, <laughs> I thought. Just trying to thin my deck here, all right, fellas? I need something. I think I have to cycle draw. I am dead drawing so bad right now. Do that. Cycle draw. Discard that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, there's some cards. So what can we do with this? Raihan for Sky Seal Stone. You think we just do it like that? I think so. No, we can't. The Drapion has to be the last turn. It's probably Raihan for Catcher, right? Holy moly. 
Yeah. It is Raihan for catcher, isn't it? That or we research for catcher. Yeah. We probably find it off of research. You think just rope, they'll promote Mew for sure? They might. They didn't promote the Mew. <laughs> And they still haven't used their V-Star power. I think... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, bro. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> the pain! <laughs> no! <laughs> What's the point? Why's it gotta be like this, chat? Yeah, surely Weird Ear can pull this off. <laughs> no, Weird Ear cannot pull this off, chat. Raihan for heavy ball for quad soul rock and then attach for 210. But I had a clean Mew VMAX in the active, right? I had to hit catcher. Oh, active was Genesect. Oh, maybe. Yes, because I roped and then Genesect, and then we have to go for, yeah, but then we have to research for Sky Seal Stone Drapion, which is still tough. So, like, maybe. I don't know. I do think we're out of it now, though. It feels like we're constantly just a little bit short with this deck. Yeah, Weird Deer, Weird Deer confirmed cannot do it, right? I've got one energy in play. No, I don't think Weird Deer can do it. At most, I can get five, six times four is 24. I can, at most, I can do 27. I can't believe my Drapion. Bro. The Drapion hit off of the 
That's so depressing. No, what are the odds you're going to have your one of Thornton? That's the thing about playing one of cards in a deck like this that plays stop too. You're just going to discard it. Thank you, Mike Bone, for that gifted sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sad. I mean, we're one prize short, you know, but. The Soul Rock was in deck because I ripped it off of the uh, prizes. Guys, I don't think that we can beat any decks with this. I'm starting to feel like. Yeah, this, this is just horrendous. What am I going to drop for the the Tinkaton line? I don't know. Town map? No, got to keep town map. All right. Hang tight, guys. Got to take a quick break. When I get back, it's all that caffeine. When I get back, we're going to play more of the rocks. We'll be right back. Thanks for being here. Hang tight. Will I rank up or will I rank down with the rocks? You'll see when I get back.
All right, let's go, gamers. I really don't think that this deck can win any games. Not, not a one. If we play against Lost Box, we'll probably lose. If we play against, I, the only deck I think we might be able to beat is Gardevoir. We'll lose to Lost Box. We'll lose to anything with Arceus in it. Thank you, Dragons Danglers, for the Prime sub and the five months. Thank you. Espeon VMAX. I don't think Espeon VMAX is the best bet for our single prize soul rock lunatone deck it's like the deck has more problems than just all right we're playing against an arceus deck again we're winning this one guys come on we need one fat dub and this is gonna be it arceus duraludon we can beat this all right we can do this thing it's happening this is the game let's go Beautiful. Got all my fellas. Rock. I should have. Yeah, I messed that up, but that's fine. I should have gotten the. Uh, I could have gotten the lunar tone with it. It's all good. Do they play a million lost cities? Oh, God. They do, don't they? They play four lost city. Well, then we're... T <laughs> then we're going to lose. <laughs> oh, they play four lost city, huh? Well, that's not good. We still got it. They're not going to find their lost cities. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Sure. Now we don't need that. All right. 150. Seems fine. You guys are being haters. Time for Disco Party Land. They just got rid of two bosses' orders and a pal pad. That's right. They're ruined. Absolutely ruined. They're playing Path to the Peak in their Duralodon deck. Yeah, Team KD believes. That's what's up. I'm telling you, this is going to be a straightforward, streamlined, easy dub. Thank you, Laminator, for the sub in the 44 months. I do wish I had access to my weird ear. But that's okay. All right, so we knock out the Arceus. 
44 months, Laminator. Thank you. And look, we didn't get... We didn't get smacked with the Lost City. It's great. Raihan there, and then we can get a card off of what are we going to want? We're going to take this knockout. We'll probably just want an, another fog crystal. Dang, I don't got any more fog crystals. That card's pretty good. What the heck? I'll say Raihan seems okay. I'm just going to chain Raihans. Yes, I would love to weird your Sky Skill Stone the Dura, but that is not an option, unfortunately. And with all four of these. We will be able to take the knockout. The Raihan basically gives me like a free retreat, which is nice. It allows me to like continue slugging for 300, which is basically what I need to do to two Hikeo these things. The energy in the rescue carrier grab there off the prizes is nuts. So that's very good. It would also be very good if they don't judge me for the rest of the game. They should simply not do that. <clears throat> ah, here's the Lost City. Yeah, well, that's fine. One, uh, one rock down. <laughs> That is one rock down. No sweats. We'll conceal some cards. A couple catchers. Let's rescue carrier. And we'll Raihan to the active. And then, yeah, get that. And retreat into Mr. Tone. Play that. And we're going to swing for as much as we can. With Mr. Lunatone. He's doing his best. How much are we doing? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 21? Not bad. Pocus stop. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> you know, if my Lunatones are in the discard pile, they can't be lost zoned. So, that's fine. There's no way they have another Lost City in their hand. And we just smacked for two tens. Things only got 120 hit points left. That's just three energy. So with three energy, we can finish off to roll it on. Then I just got to figure out two more prizes. Beach court could be, could be sauce. But then again, Pokestop's nuts. So 
Maybe Beach Court is the way. They're going to hard retreat the Dura. Okay. They don't play like Cheryl or anything, right? Nah. This game is going to come down to me like missing a Pokemon catcher flip for game. 100%. All right, rescue carrier. Dang, I don't have an energy though. I really need one of these to flip heads or else like we just explicitly cannot win. Yeah. Guys, we may need to stop the bleeding and just quit while we're ahead. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's my last catcher, though. I've got the three prizes, so I'm going to go down to one prize remaining. All right. What if they just don't have boss's orders? I think we're going to win. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think we're going to win this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, we got this one. All right. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Thank you, G3 Holiday, for the prime sub in the seven months. Appreciate you. Yeah, check this out. First of all, insane draw. Listen, they're down. They discarded two bosses' orders and a pal pad. There's no way they have another boss in their hand. So the way I win is that I'm just going to power up a Lunatone, a really big one, over two turns. <laughs> yeah, that's how we're doing it. I cannot reliably two hit KO anything. I think all four of my catchers are in the discard pile. Yes, they are. So I need to find. Okay. Here we go. There's, they just got to not have boss's orders. That's it. Thirteen cards left in deck. I like what I see. Now we just got to build up one really big rock. There's no way they'll see it coming. <laughs> All right. Pass. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. It would be so cringe if they boss. Come on. We've worked really hard for this. Our little rock deck is so bad. Cross switcher incoming? No, no, no. No, 
Natalie told me about the like I was playing Pokemon cards with Natalie over the weekend and she made the joke about you wouldn't hurt a little guy on his birthday, would you? And like I didn't I didn't get it. They're going to pass? <laughs> I think I win. <laughs> it's just a little guy. <laughs> and it's my birthday. You wouldn't hurt a little guy on his birthday. <laughs> I'd never heard that before. I didn't get it. I did not get the joke. All right. What's nine times three? It's like, it's enough, right? I mean, I'm doing like 200. 10 times. I'm doing like 300 damage. Well, let's go, baby. Look at that. And that's game. Lunatone. Moon Kinesis. 330 damage. They didn't even let me get the extra rewards, man. What the heck, bro? You conceded? You're not even letting me grab those prize cards? Listen, I need those prize cards. How come it says that I'm like this far up in Houndoom, but then you click on here and it's like, no, we're actually all the way down here. All right. I want to... I won a game. That was pretty hype. We'll win another one. Retire while I'm on top. I thought about it. But nah, we easiest win of our life. Do I have any videos on how to improve in best of three? I don't because it's, you know, it's kind of a very niche uh, video topic. It's like there might, there are probably like a few people who are interested in that, but for the most part, like a larger YouTube audience is not going to be interested in how to improve in best of three. Uh, I mean, practice makes perfect, honestly. Just the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. Like, the more regionals you play in, the more you participate, the easier it's going to be. But, I mean, it, it all comes down to time management and thinking about the best of three and not in terms of, like, all right, I think I might be able to be a guard war deck. You know, thank you, Mike Bone, for the prime sub and Jacob for the tier three in the 43 months. Appreciate you. No, thank you, Jacob. Thank you. All right, let's go. They're going first. No battle VIP pass. None. No battle VIP pass for you. But yeah, thinking about best of three, uh, one of the major things you need to kind of conceptualize is you're not just trying to win. You're not starting three separate games and trying to win each game. Uh, you're trying your best to win two games in 50 minutes. So like, don't just think of it as like each game is a separate entity. Like think of the whole 50 minutes as one block and your mission is to win two games within it. Uh, also you need to consider your, your plus three turns as well. You know, if you're starting a game three with 10 minutes, sometimes all you have to do is get to like four prizes remaining. Um, and then you can take those final couple prizes as the uh, as the final three turns are unrolling, you know, unraveling. So okay. <laughs> Yes, your goal is to win two games in, in 50 minutes or one long game. But, like, the 
uh, most of the time, the one long game situation doesn't really come up. Trekking shoes. How many energy do I have down? Just one. So we say no. Okay. Sick. So we hit two more energy there. It's good. Four energy in the discard pile. My other soul rocks prized. I wanted to keep the... Yeah, we can bench this guy. That's fine. Um, battle VIP pass. Get the last one of these. And then... I do want to draw a little bit, so we can do that. Concealed cards. Sweet. And... Trekking shoes. Yeah. Okay. A little escape rope. Dang it. What the heck? All right, we're going sound energy. Four lead turn one knockout on Manaphy. This is the matchup we said we could beat. So we're going to try our try our best. See what comes of it. Uh, we are putting pressure on, which is good. You know, turn one knockout, turn two knockout. That should be pretty strong for us. There's our final rock. They shouldn't be able to take a knockout this turn. I mean, they. it's possible that they do, which would make me pretty upset if they go Rare Candy, Guardy. It's not a bad rip for them, two Psychic in the discard pile. Right, like if they just, with the two Psychic in the discard pile now, if they have a Rare Candy in their hand, they just go Ultra Ball, Gardevoir EX, you know, boom, knockout Lunatone. So, that'd be not cool. Would it have been better uh, to hold the energy to retreat the frog and take a Ralts knockout? Uh, I don't necessarily think so. Uh, just... I think drawing the cards with concealed cards and just making sure that I like keep the pressure on and keep drawing cards, I think seems good. But like, it's certainly that's something I could have done. Also, there was a decent chance that I draw into another psychic off of concealed cards, I think was my thought. But like playing myself down to, like, keep in mind, I didn't get that research. Let's go, baby. I didn't get that research until the concealed card. So now looking at the research, it's like, oh, well, yeah. But. Didn't we just play against this person? Bro, fossil Pokemon revealed. Let's go. Okay. Apply weakness to your opponent's active Pokemon is four times instead. That's the Kabutops. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, holy moly, what am I dealing with over here? Okay, we're up against Guardi again. Sweet. We've got the juice, though. Let's go. Except my Radiant Greninja is prized, so actually we've got no juice. We've got all the rocks, though, and a stop. Okay. Pain, pain, <laughs> no, nothing but pain. Okay, end turn. All right, almost star. As long as this Pokemon's in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon cannot retreat. And an Aqua Split, 90-30-30. Interesting. Hmm. Thank you, Dr. Pokedad, for the Prime sub in the 37 months. Dang, my opponent's popping off this time. Okay. Yeah, they're back for revenge. Mawile? What, it just makes it so the Pokemon can't retreat and you do 90 damage the next turn or something? Four times weakness. Huh? Kabutops. That's interesting. Pokestop. All right. Okay. We cooking. Let's go. And the research. Oh, baby. We're so in there. Free Dubski. They're not going to launch a meaning meaningful attack. They're good. they're going double curlia for sure. Yeah, we get one more free turn. No? Oh, they got the rare candy guardy. Uh it's bad. They are gonna launch a meaningful attack. No. They got zero energy in the discard pile right now, but they could easily get some there. We'll have one on the Mew. That's fine. Mr. Misters, yes it was. There you go. Yes, it was one that I opened on stream. There you go, good stuff. Happy birthday, Mr. Misters. The thing about the video game is just it's very accessible. 
which makes it easy to consume video game content. Because even if you don't know anything about the video game, people are at least familiar enough with like big Pokemon animation, you know, smacks other Pokemon, HP goes down, you know, it's very, yeah, the, the core is just ex extremely accessible, which makes it easy to consume, right? Easy to watch. You watch big Pokemon attack other Pokemon. You know, there's cute animations like, yeah. Easy to digest. So that's, I mean, that, that kind of makes a lot of sense of it in my mind. Like in a lunar blast? Whereas the trading card game, it's a tabletop game. I mean, tabletop gaming is uh, has always been more of a niche audience. It's not really fair to compare tabletop gaming to uh, to video games. They're just not really the same. Um, but I do think it's fair to compare the Pokemon trading card game to other tabletop games like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh, in which case, you know, you can make some very fair comparisons about how Pokemon cards should be doing um, relative to those games. I think that that's very fair. So let's do... We got Rescue Carrier. Raihan. Trek. Cool. That's good. Hello, Greninja. Welcome to... Welcome to the game. Thank you for showing up. Okay. That's fine. Spread our energy out a little bit. See what we can cook. If I can get enough energy in play, like at the end of the game, I could potentially go for a big knockout with Weird Deer or something. They're not really pressuring my energy right now. So that's nice. Moon Kinesis for the knockout. I mean, we're trading favorably. I mean, we're we're up in the trade currently. So oh, the deer is discarded. Why are you always getting discarded, deer? All right, never mind. No deer. It's fine. Didn't need him. All I need to do is continue knocking out Pokemon and I win. <laughs> All right. I think the Pokestop gives more value than Beach Court because it helps get energy into the discard pile. Yes, Duck Dad, I will be doing more retro stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we just got this one wrapped up. Like, what can the... All right, so say you're the Guardi deck. 
how do you plan on winning if you're the Garde deck? Hey, Roxanne, and we dead draw. That's so true. Attack with the X and hope I whip. Yeah, Gust. I mean, probably, right? Okay. No. Very good. Okay, we build in, we build in. It's good. Okay. Seems fine. Goodbye, friends. We'll do our 120. They have only six cards in deck. Yeah, that uh, yeah sounds about right. Yeah. We've got escape rope. We can push around. If they try to feed us Gardevoir, we could just push around it. So it's fine. Roxanne incoming. That's fine. I've got a backup Lunatone right here. They do play Judge, yeah. So I, I think that probably what they're trying to do is set up a Gardevoir... Soak a hit and then collapse it out of play or something. Like that would be a valid win condition. But then obviously by attacking with the Gardevoir, they give me an opportunity to like, you know, and if I two hit KO with that, then I'm I'm in a good spot. Did they discard their collapse already? Well, 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 it appears as if they have. I mean, they've got four prizes left to take. Yeah, so I think we're okay. Yeah, how close can we get to 300? I think we can get there, right? Yeah, I think. Thank you, Riley, for that quick math. I've only got three energy in the discard pile, though, so I need to hit an energy off this Pokestop. No, I need to not do that. Okay, fail. Because I need to get the fourth rock, which is in my discard pile currently. But I can get a rescue carrier with Raihan. But I need to hit something else off this Pokestop. So here we go. All right. See? We're chilling. Because now I can Fog Crystal for the other energy. I've got the rescue carrier, so now I've got it all. So we go Fog Crystal, grab the energy. We conceal cards. I need a fifth in the discard pile. Ah, well, fear not. We've got the trekking shoes, brother. <clears throat> See? The shoes provideth. Easy, bruv. Told you... Absolutely free. 
Now we go Raihan. I can get whatever out of my deck. Attach. Thank you, Corey Games, for the 44 months. Appreciate it, Corey Games. Thank you. All right, there we go. 300 damage. 300 damage! Let's go! I told you we could beat Guardy, bro. See, that deck stinks. <laughs> That's the worst deck right there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was, that was easy peasy. There's nothing they could do. I got a bunch of rocks. They could rock sand me, I guess. And I could dead draw, I suppose. No. All right, the Luminian for the Roxanne. We're fine, guys. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Totally fine. Rescue Carrier. That's it. Game over. Well, I need an energy, I guess, to retreat one of these rocks. So many energy going to the discard pile. Wow. Just like that. Well, they could promote their Luminian, which I'm not knocking out. Okay, things are getting sketch. Let's see. Are they getting sketched, though? Stop for the fog crystal. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. All right, let her rip. Yo, the double rope? Well, now we win. <laughs> well, now we got it. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Well, okay, we can't just double rope because I have to start accelerating first. There's no way. Okay, so we rope first. Yes, and then you see what they choose. Right, and they send up the right guy. So then we rope again. Yes. <laughs> Aha! You've been foiled! Yes. You got finessed. Please let me do this so I can get all my rewards. I understand that this is hypocritical because I, too, like to concede early, but I know. I understand. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Well, let's go. GG's, Guardy. I select my final prize card, and I put it into my hand. Victory never tasted so sweet. That's right. Me in my tuxedo shirt, psychic hat, and jean shorts. Magnificent. Yo, the haters are starting to sweat. 
That's for sure. At first, it was looking like there was absolutely no chance of leveling up. Now, I mean, Riley, I think this deck is more broken than Turbo Dark. Maybe. Dude, the shoes provideth for sure. What do you guys think? It's going to be a shoes into battle VIP pass angle right here. Shoes into battle VIP pass. Oh, we can do this. Come on. Shoes into battle VIP pass. Radiant Greninja into research. Or the other way around. It's fine. Four energy in the discard pile. I think we just let that stand. And say, yeah, we'll find more energy here, bro. It's fine. Do I want to rope up the Arceus and smack into it? Or do I want to force them to get a switch? Roping up the Arceus and smacking into it's pretty good. So I think I'll do that. And then... I actually think we stop first. Can we hit? Well, yeah, because we're about to hit double battle VIP pass. I think I should probably get Greninja first, though. So I don't mill my Greninja. He's prized anyway, so who cares? Okay. Well, that, you know. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I lose. It's looking real good. You're so right. Yeah, that's a big cycle draw turn. Um. Okay. I feel like the Sky Seal Stone kind of just stinks. Like, I'm not going to take a single prize in this matchup anyway, so who cares? There's that battle VIP pass. Dang it. It's not good. This is not good. This bad. Yeah, this is real bad. Probably don't even finish playing this one out. Is there anything I can do? I mean, I guess. I have to hit perfect two hit KOs and then like end the game with a very saucy weird ear. That's fine. And they need to like definitely never heal. Okay. Huh. Come on. Not helping. You're not helping. Sh 
Shoo, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. And I gotta go. I can't really afford to research this, so I just have to go get a soul rock like the hard way. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You know, not great, but it's fine. We're fine. We go, they go four prizes. We go four prizes. They go three prizes. We go one hit. They go two prizes. We go finish that thing off with the catcher for two prizes. They go to one prize remaining and we go weird deer huge knockout catcher a, reg a regular v one hit ko all right yeah there's i don't think there's any way that we can possibly win actually all right i'm gonna scoop this game Can't do it. I well, you know we want a few. I'm telling you, I'm I'm leveling up hundred percent. Y'all are some haters. I do think that we can cut the the seal stone. That thing seems terrible. Absolutely never use it. Mu V Max. Not the strongest hand. <laughs> That's fine. No, nah, we're going to get out of Houndoom Purgatory. Come on. I feel like we should cut the Sky Seal Stone for anything else. Probably like a Raihan. I bet you my opponent opened a dead hand because they just feather balled for a Mew V Max. So <laughs> they are not cooking. <laughs> yeah, it's like that playing Mew V Max right now. So with the Pokestop? I don't even know if I should give them the Pokestop. Like, I feel like I'd better off if I don't.
Cycle draw. I could see cycle draw. They can't attack. Because they don't have any Pokemon to copy. And we'll find I'll cycle draw once. But I feel like I don't actually want to give them the Pokestop. Cross Fusion Strike what? <laughs> Excuse me? Dang, I got tons of dudes in here. I'll get Big D. Fog Crystal. We'll grab Psychic Energy. And I'll fog crystal again. I'm gonna get another psychic energy. And uh Sure. I'll start putting some pressure on. I can't win. Drapion needs more Pokemon in play. Right? Yeah. You gotta have like four. He's got one. <laughs> All right, they can psychic leap now, though. They've got two, so they're cooking. They're almost there. If they put three, I can attach an energy and do it, but... I don't want to give them the option to Psychic Leap. For Knockout. There you go. Slow and steady wins the race, chat. I'm having fun this game. I like kind of watching them mull about. And struggle, you know? GG's. Me. Me. In my sandals and tuxedo shirts. I'm telling you, we're... Bro, we're so close. Come on. 840. I can smell it. Dang, I never collected my rewards. I'm so rich, dude. And I've got a sick jacket now. That's crazy. I do not know anything about Gym Leader Challenge side events at Portland as I am not the event organizer. But if and when they post side event schedules, it should be listed on there. But I cannot speak for them because I do not know. Flipping one coin. It is tails. I would like to go first. There's a GLC tournament in Tokyo next week? Nice. 
Cool. That's what's up, Dunk. Let us know how it goes. Good luck. Playing against Maridon. This matchup should be okay. Hmm. Fallen Crystal. Okay. Battle VIP pass. Go. Why does life have to be so hard? Everything is pain. Just pure pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool they're not gonna get a turn one attack no 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 Reggie Lecky V I got rope I got catcher no 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 we're fine and they're not gonna get a turn one attack most certainly not Definitely not with that Raikou. Well, they discarded two lightnings. That's good. Ah, oh, they got the electric generator. They're selecting cards from their deck. They're moving attached cards. Oh, no. Well, I got the two energy on Raikou and an escape rope and a four seal stone. I'm bodied. And they got the beach court. Removing my consistency. And here is Raikou. I'm going to need to research off the top. It's looking Mahover. Dang it. This escape rope is not going to do it. I don't think I can catch or stall anything, as there is a beach court in play. Okay. <sighs> is there any possible way I can win this game after going down two prizes? I don't think so. But maybe? Huh. There are double turbos in that deck. What do you think that they're doing? What do you think they're using those for? And I've got... Two escape ropes in my hand, which means that I likely will not be able to uh, move around this lightning wall here in a minute. So that is not good. There's no point in using the escape rope. I just kind of felt like playing it. I don't think they've used their V-Star yet, but I can't tell because it's not here on the sideboard. Maybe we froze the game. Did we freeze it? Who wins here? Dang it, we didn't freeze the game. This stinks. Okay. Pokemon Catcher. Blast. Now we're going to research. Get these gamers out of the discard pile.
All right, I've got my final escape rope and my final catcher. It can be done. You're saying there's a chance. That's right. Moon Kinesis. 150. You never know. Your opponent could just encounter a game-breaking bug. Never give up, chat. There's always a chance. Got another generator. My weird ear is still in the deck. I mean, if they evolve into a Regilecki V Max, I suppose I could take four prizes on it. They're powering up another Regilecki V, huh? It's not good. They haven't used their V Star power yet. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it's feeling feeling real bad here. Definitely need to attack turn one if I'm going to have any chance in this matchup. Hmm, okay. Radiant Greninja. Why don't you just draw some cards? Okay. Nobody. I think it is literally not possible for me to win. So say I take two prizes, they go to two. Yes, I do not believe it is possible for me to win. Gotta attack turn one. I'm getting that Sky Seal Stone out of here, though. That card is bad. Level 17! 50 coins. Okay. Yes, this card has been quite bad. Hmm. Got two Raihan. Another choice. Hmm. Second Drapion. What's the Mewtwo do again? He's so bad, right? It's not good. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's not, like, not good. No. He's not, not great. Can't say that he's the strongest Pokemon there is. Thank you, Jim9, for that prime sub in the 20 months. Congratulations. I heard you won the, uh, the challenge the other day.
can't hurt to play one more supporter card or something. No, definitely don't want a supporter card. That's cringe. Gardevoir EX? We'll never set that up. A 1-1 one, one Shadow Rider? I feel like another band doesn't hurt. That's fine. Time to rank up. Is it already that time of the day? Come on. <laughs> Can't believe. Man, I'm just getting started. It's already time. Unbelievable. Usually it's a few hours before the clothes start coming off. Alrighty then. I think I'm going first. Playing against Reggie Alecki and the Lightning Stuff. Let's go get a Lunatone and see if we can't draw into a Battle VIP Pass, please. No, we cannot. Alrighty then. We'll attach an energy and pass. Well, then I have to hope that my opponent does not knock out my Radiant Greninja turn one. But they probably will. What deck would I take to a League Cup or Challenge right now? Well, Jim9, don't you know better than me? You just won one. I don't love any deck in Standard right now. Honestly, they all feel kind of bad to me. They've got Klefki. Oh, no. I just... I feel like it's definitely like a play your favorite deck kind of meta. It'd be sick if I hit this Pokemon catcher. Cool. Grab a Psychic Energy. We've got Nest Ball. That guy is fine. And then I feel like it's Cycle Draw. I'm hitting for like 120. I mean, I guess I can just smack for... Yeah, putting damage on is good. All right, we'll do that. I've got Raihan. It's not the worst. It's not the best either. No. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll do that. There's also no guarantee that they knock out my Lunatone. Yeah, just play whatever. I feel like it's just like play whatever deck you like. If you like mid ride on, play mid ride on. If you like lost box, play lost box. Yeah, they ain't got nothing. If you like Guardy, play Guardy. 
If you like Mew V Max, my goodness, play Mew V Max. I appreciate those 32 months, Arheeb. I did see that they revealed the Kabutops and Elmastar. I don't feel like they're very good, but maybe I'll be wrong. Four times on weakness. That ability has been a thing before, and it's never been good. And then... There's like a block Snorlax in format right now, and that card's not played. So, well, you know, unless you're a control person. All right, we're going to need some help. As all I have is one rock and play. Huh. Uh, I could probably win if I cycle draw for a turn. Probably. The timer! I'm just going to roll the dice. I've got two rescue carrier in my hand, so... Oh, lordy. Okay. Did not go well for me. Fine. Rescue carrier. Sun energy. And it's cycle draw time. Three cards. There we go. So, all right, they're going to go to four prizes. I've already taken one. Not that it matters. So do we got our weird ear in here? We do. Just need to stabilize a little bit better. They're going to evolve into a Regilecki VMAX for me. Okay, if I knock out a VMAX, it's three prizes. Okay. I got a generator. Fine. Double hit onto Maridon. Dang it. Okay, Maridon is juiced up and ready to go. And they're going to counter my Pokestop. That is cringe. They do give me another single prize Klefki, though. That's good. Two more. Okay. Sure. So I guess... You're just going to switching bolt? Really? For not a knockout? They think they've got me. They think that... They think they've solved it. Uh-huh. I see. 
Well, I don't have enough energy in play to really do anything about this, so I'll retreat into this Lunar Tone, and I'm just going to Cycle Draw again. Okay, we've got the third rock, so that's good. Well, I guess I could have gone for a catcher and then accelerated too. It's fine. Cycle draw felt good. Plus, they think they've got me with the Reggie Lucky strat. And that, that ain't going to work. Yeah, they're committed to the Regilecki strat right now. It's exactly where we want to be. No sweat, dude. One of these catchers buffs out every time here. And we got the shoes, brother. Don't feel like I need that. That's a better card. Pokemon catcher. Aha. Yes. And then we'll do some of that big sun energy. Get that up accelerated onto your uh, Lunatone. I think I'm out of energy in the discard pile, so I can conceal cards one more time. Cool. So we're going to knock this guy out. Go to three prizes left. Easy, dog. Sun energy. Oh, yeah, this is free, dude. Perfection. Moon Kinesis for 120. And we'll take our two. Raihan and a Psychic. That is mighty good. My hand is large and also in charge. Good stuff. Oh, keys don't mean nothing now. The keys are actually a huge liability now. Yeah, I ultimately grew soft on on the keys. They seem so good, right? Like, I mean, the ability just seems so good. How could this card not be good? And then it's just not. <laughs> How is it so bad, bro? Everything I know about Pokemon cards tells me that this card should be good in this format, but it's just not. It's not good. It's better to just go fast. Yeah, Joust doesn't do it. It doesn't matter. Even like the hit and run of, you know, Reggie Alecki, theoretically, Switching Bolt can do like 150 damage. That's about as good as it gets. I think my opponent logged off, mate. Dang. They went and conceded. Their potty break is up. They were playing on the toilet probably. You know, on mobile. That's the weird thing about playing a game that's like mixed, you know, mobile and desktop. 
Sometimes I wonder, where are you when you're playing? Are you in traffic on the highway? You on your lunch break at work? <laughs> Using the McDonald's Wi Fi to play on your phone. Are they on the subway? Maybe on the bus. Yeah, where are you? Were you just hanging out at home on your PC and then just command queued when you started losing to the Lunatone deck? Cool. I get to take all my prizes, though. That's sweet. Choice belts. Pokemon catcher. <laughs> Tracking shoes. Pokestop. Concealed cards. Research. Trekking shoes. How many energy do I got in the discard pile? Just one, bro? Trekking shoes. I'm going to need more than one. Five cards left in deck. We discard another energy. Okay. Should be able to have it now, I think. Maybe they got sleepy. That's so true. They could have. Understandable, honestly. I feel like I'm doing enough now. Six, yeah, 180, 210, 240. You're done. I take my final two prize cards and I place them into my hand, which declares me the victor. Oh, lordy. Okay, we're back at 800 points. Come on. Got to get to 840. Restart the client. Does that help with anything? Unexpected server error. You're a server error. What the heck? I'm just trying to get my game on, dog. You're cramping my gaming vibes. I collect my rewards. Thank you. I take my booster packs. Oh. 
Okay. I wonder what is the uh I I had everybody predict on whether or not I'd rank up or rank down with 44% of you voted that I would derank playing nothing but Lunatone, and 56% of you said that I would rank up. <clears throat> we got close to deranking. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, all I need is one of those supporter cards or something. All right, now I'm playing against a Blaziken Urshifu deck with Earth and Sealstone. All right, we've got this one in the bag, dude. Well, let's go. My turn. Okay, trekking shoes. Don't want that. Ha ha! Yes. Battle VIP pass, my friend. Concealed cards. And we've got a Pokestop? Yo, let's go. Get another rock out. I'm gonna rock out with my rocks out. There we go. Didn't need that research anyway, dog. And then we'll get another one of these guys. I've got one energy in the discard pile. Fine. Easy money. And then we pass. Thank you, Reverend General, for the 16 months. Thank you, Reverend. Yeah, and thank you guys for all the love today. I appreciate it. The hype trains, the subs. Been a wonderful stream. Thank you. Dang, they got the... They got the... Okay... I didn't realize it was like Radiant Eternatus. How am I finding Manaphy? I'm going to discard it with Pokestop and bring it back with Rescue Carrier. Duh. <laughs> All right. There's a Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. Sure. We got research off the top of the deck. No problemo. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. They're weak to psychic, too. Oh, yeah. Bro. They're sauced. Let's go. Okay. Need to get some energy in the discard pile, like more energy in the discard pile. So, got anything over here? Sure. And then uh, we're going to conceal. Okay. And then got to hit a psychic. Yes. All right. We should be good. Two energy in the discard pile. I think two will do it with the choice. I'm not one to do math, but I'm feeling like the math vibes are aligning. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Oh, yeah. The math vibes, they've lined up, chat. <laughs> Absolutely insane. 360 damage. Goodbye, Urshifu. Let's go. We'll take our three prizes. Thank you very much. 
I'd like to shout out Radiant Eternatus for putting that three prize Pokemon into play for me to take. That was nice. There we go. Now we've got three prizes left to take. All I have to do is two Hikeo this thing. No sweats. I don't even need no Manaphy. Someone asked, how am I going to get Manaphy out? What if I told you... <laughs> Jack Phoenix, why are you such a hater? Dang, hater energy. Huge hater energy. Just pouring out of you. Sure, I love this deck too. That's why I'm not giving up on it. All right. We're not giving up. No. There's life beyond scoop up net. Okay. So we got Blaziken, Zero Aura over here. Three prizes left. They've taken only one prize. I think we're chilling. How many energy I got in the discard pile? Four. Let's conceal. Thin a little bit. Okay. Oh, they're going to go for uh for that thing. Okay. Got it. Mhm. Mm All right, so if I Rhyhon, they're going to try and take a bonus prize that way. That's kind of cringe. I guess I'll put the man if you down. Sure. No way they play like Max Potion, right? No way. Not Max Potion, but Cheryl or whatever. Thank you, Mr. Frizu. Gudra? Listen, Gudra doesn't exist. Gudra can't hurt you. Don't worry about the things you can't control, like the Gudra matchup, okay? Some things you just got to leave in God's hands. There you go. <sighs> That's fine. That's not great. Let's see. Inspect my board. I've got one rescue carrier... Well, you ain't going to have my mana fee, that's for sure. I feel like I'm beyond the need for Radiant Greninja. I got my whole deck in my hands. We're fine. Now, nah, the ninja, yeah, we're beyond ninja now. Don't need it. Now we're just going for Pokemon Catcher on this guy for win. I had this experience over the weekend playing Mario Kart. Now, I'm a big Mario Kart fan. 
But part of me, not part of me, all of me, I refuse to look up like meta strategies for Mario Kart because I just like enjoy Mario Kart. And in some ways, like learning too much about a game ruins it, right? You know? So I just like to play the carts that I like to play. I like to, and I'm pretty good, you know? I'm not bad. I don't like, you know, get all sweaty and look up the meta or do anything like that, but I have fun. You know, like, I played through and got triple gold star rank on everything, right? Because that's fun to me, is challenging myself to do that. So, I got triple gold star and everything, but then I didn't play any of the new DLC stuff, right? I didn't play any of the new DLC stuff, and I was having fun going through because it's like you know my game was 100 percent it like i had i had triple gold starred everything and then let's see what do you guys think you think we should go for there's two pokemon catchers in my deck you think we just research for it yeah For sure. 11 cards left in deck. Oh, yeah, dude. See ya. You're done. See? That easy. And that's GG's, baby. So I'm playing Mario Kart over the weekend and I'm having a good time because like you know I I like to I like to play Mario Kart. I take it somewhat seriously, but not too seriously. And I just like goofing around playing whatever kart I like. But then I try to do the best with the kart that I like, right? That to me is is fun. You know, doing the best that I can with the characters that I like. And trying to get like the triple gold star ranking, you know, or whatever. And in a lot of ways, you know, that kind of philosophy is true for a lot of things. Like, if you get too sweaty about stuff, you know, I've heard people say, like, bro, you either, you're either good at the Pokemon trading card game or you like the Pokemon trading card games, not both. <laughs> So for a lot of things, I so for a lot of things, I uh, I refuse to like get too sweaty about it because it ruins it, right? For me, those things are like Mario Kart and Tony Hawk Pro Skater, right? I just I don't know about any of you guys. You ever try if you ever try playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater online? It's miserable. Like, dude, you got people doing all sorts of crazy, you know what I mean? They know, like, the meta strats and are doing it. It's just like, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's terrible, bro. It's terrible. The challenges end in, like, 30 seconds because people, like, you know, min-max through the whole stage to do everything perfectly. All right, this is my winning end to graduating to the next, uh, to the next thing. So anyways, I'm in my own Discord, having fun, playing Mario Kart, and I post a picture of me having fun playing Pink Gold Peach, who's my favorite character to play in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Edition. And one of our very own Discord members was like, ew, why are you playing Pink Gold Peach? Bro, because I want to. You 
You know, and the same thing goes for Pokemon cards. Just play the decks you like, you know? Have fun with it. Have some fun, you know? You get too sweaty, you're not going to have any fun. I do love the Pink Gold Peach character, though. I think that character is sick. Big fan. Dang, we've only seen one energy. That's sad. It's all good. But it's hard because once you learn, like, once you learn about, like, optimal strategies and meta and stuff like that, you can't, like, unlearn it, you know? Oh, that's the thing. Grim X Grin. Like, I won't play Smash Brothers. Because people get too sweaty about it. And it's like... Yeah, it's way too sweaty. Now, I used to play a ton of Smash Brothers in college. But all I played was Toon Link. <laughs> I'm not a Smash Brothers person. I just like Toon Link. <laughs> I just like Toon Link. But in my mind, Mario Kart is like one of the greatest joys you can have while playing a video game. It's uh it's just pure bliss. I really wanted that to be a heads. It's fine. I'm research. Oh, I should have. It's cool. Should have probably rescue carriered that. It's fine. Poke stat. Tracking shoes. Nope. Oh, got the rescue carrier back. Pokemon catcher. This is really not cool, man. Oh, don't you emote at me. All right. Don't you even don't, get, get out of here. All right, we can still do this. It's Mewtwo V Union. Oh my gosh, come on, man. I hope you prized all your V-Union pieces, buddy. What is it? It spreads like Cyplosion. It's like 16 damage counters. It's too many. Okay, so they're waiting for next turn to do I'm just gonna catch her up. Yeah, you're done for sure. Surely you don't fail the third. Oh my God. You're killing me, bro. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, buddy, yeah. <laughs> Big thumbs up to you too. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> okay. And we get to do the sun energy. Now, I should have done this turn one. But all my catchers were tails. Sad. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's my last catcher, too. So, yeah, eight, all four catchers down. Right? One, two, three. Do I have one left? There's a Raihan. That's good. Oh, I have one left. No, I don't. There's the fourth one. Never mind. I have lied to you. My first three failed. That's right. They ain't even evolving into Gardevoir EX, bro. <laughs> they don't need it. Dang, they really about to V-Union style on me, though, so... That's pain. No shot. Okay. They got Zashi in up. Okay, okay, okay. How many energy in my discard pile? One? All right. Let's go concealed cards. Okay. Big sun energy. Trekking shoes. We'll keep that. Seven cards left in deck. I ought to be careful. Can I discard three of them? It's really not worth it, I don't think. Okay, we're going for the moon kinesis. Knockouts. Yo, we got this match in the bag, dude. They don't even got no guardy. Pokemon errata sometimes, but they will absolutely not do that for Pokestop, no. All right, do I have to worry about this V Union thing? You got no Guard of War. But. Then research into the bottom of your deck. Okay. Still no Guard of War. Two cards left in deck. Holy moly. That was quite the animation. They can't even power it up, dude. We're chilling. Go ahead. I dare you to use Shining Arcana. Go ahead. Storm Slash. Okay, so we can knock out this thing pretty easily. I'm gonna send up my man, Lunatone. And then we've got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 18. 
Okay. What else do I got in this deck? Probably just want to thin as much as I can. Um, I guess they could Cyplosion me for two. Thank you, Real Cowboy. So he's at 210 right now. Pokestop? I think I'm cool on the Pokestop, but thank you. <laughs> for, thank you for the suggestion. Probably should have gone energy. Yeah. Oh, well. I probably should have gone energy to the active, choice belt to the benched one. So what? They just, like, probably have to union gain for a turn, right? Oh, they have zero cards in deck. Oh, I've got the deer. I forgot about the deer. It could be deer time. How many energy do you need with deer? Eight? I can do that. Could be deer time. Thank you, James, for that big rate of 47. Shout out to James CTCG. Appreciate you, James. Hopefully you're doing well. Having a good one. We have a big prediction going on right now. Big prediction. It's been going on for an hour. Will I rank up or rank down using explicitly the Lunatone Soul Rock deck? And I am one win away from ranking up right now. All right. I think I let them Cyplosion me, and I just go rope, rope game. Because if I try to hit into the Mewtwo, I, like, I guess I could probably duck or something. Right, so I just go rope rope game. I save the energy so I can retreat it in case I need to like retreat. But I want to just burn the rest of my cards, make sure I'm like I don't think that they can actually Roxanne, they'll probably duck out, so Okay. Moon Kinesis, and then we've got one prize remaining. So what they can do Uh oh. Well this just got a lot more complicated. I might lose, guys. Oh god. <laughs> no. This is not good. It's just Cyplosion, Cyplosion, Cyplosion game. You don't usually see the rare candy. No, I was not expecting that. They can't knock out two Lunatones at the same time, though. Right? It's 16. Yeah, not 18. All right, we're chilling. I think we can weird here. I think so. 
Maybe. Okay, so what do I do? I don't think I can actually get enough energy onto the weird deer to win, right? Research? You think so? I can hit eight energy? Is that enough? Yeah, it is enough. Holy smokes. Oh, yeah, that's game. Easy. Oi, bruv. GG's. GG's, mate. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. The haters are livid. We ranked up playing explicitly. The rocks. <laughs> so sick, dude. So sick. All right. Well, now what? We got there. Why stop now? Now Reggie's? You think we can make Reggie's work? Here's the rocks deck. If you're interested in the... Yeah, it's not not terrible. It's kind of sick against Guardy. All right, what other what other fun strategies do you think we could unfold? Well, that's the thing is like for me, getting sweaty and being serious is for like regional and international championships and like the online platform is simply for goofing around. So like that's why I like I really do not care about my ELO, bro. So anybody, you know, I just had to, I do not care at all. If I care about my ELO, then I'm not going to play as many silly decks, which is not as fun. So yeah, for me, the online client is purely just for goofing around. You know, the only rank that matters is championship points, baby. Done dozo time. Well, I don't know if done dozo is it. I have given Arcanon a go. It was bad. Maybe we should just play a good deck for a couple rounds. To get us, like, into the... TPCI uninviting players to Worlds if they're in Great Ball tier. <gasps> <laughs> no! Real and true.
the fairy sleeves. They got fairy sleeves over here. Drag a basic Pokemon to your active spot. This is how committed you are to the click and drag UI is that we have to click and drag everything, huh? What do you think I'm playing against? Is Guardy. Okay. Cool. This is a good matchup. I think. I mean, we've got the Evil Tall, we've got the Tyranitars. Should be all right. Do I think Fairy will ever come back or any other type will be added for a short while? Absolutely not. Fairy's gone forever, and I do not think that Pokemon will add any more types. Nor do I think they should. I don't think that they are taking Dragon away either, no. Why do I think that? Because I think removing Fairy type was a conscious decision. Like, to to trim down and help balance the Pokemon TCG. So, like, and also, I feel like Pokemon's had to deal with, like, the... Introducing a new type and then taking it away is a huge pain. So, they probably never want to put themselves in that situation again. Roar of the Sword... Cool. Should we judge? Probably should just go for it, huh? Yeah. And if we miss the Lugia, that'd be so cringe. So let's not do that. Okay. Probably shouldn't give them this, but being able to Ultra Ball 2 Archeops would be sick. It's all good. They're flipping tails anyway. Okay, we'll pass. <laughs> Is Lunar Rock the BDIF? Undoubtedly. Yes. Clearly. How hard do you think it is to win games with Reggie's in this format? I feel like Regigigas got a lot of things going against it. Obviously, your energies are all scuffed. But then even just thinking about it from, you know, like you don't have any... Oh, the deck is no scoop up either. Oh, God. No scoop up. You can't hit EXs for like big damage. Why did the opponent, why does the opponent flip my coin when they're playing Mesagoza? Because they forgot theirs. Well, that's cool. Two rare candy, two guardies, turn two. That's nice. Yeah, they forgot their coin. They were asking to borrow it.
Hmm. How do we win this? They don't have any Curlias. Which is weird. So, we gotta figure out... You know, are they gonna send up a Zashian into this evil tall? Or are they gonna send up, like, their Shining Arcana Guardian? They don't really have any draw outside of that. They've got this Cresselia and five energy in the discard pile. Looks like they're going in with Gardevoir. Okay. So... They're taking a single prize. If it's possible for me to gust up and knock out their... If I flip heads on Mesagoza, I could gust up and knock out their Guardi this turn. Which I think would just be nuts. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do. Well, there's the boss. Come on. Easiest heads flip of my life. The last one was tails. This one's got to be heads. See? There we go. Simple as that, dog. And then we go Ultra Ball. Discard these guys. Get my final Luigi V star. And then we're going to go Summoning Star. And I'll bounce all around the board while I do that. And then we're going to go Primal Turbo. Get all primal up in here. And we're going to accelerate these onto this guy right here. And then we're going to Primal Turbo again. And I'm going to accelerate those to Mr. Luigi. And then I will also do the Gifty to Luigi. And then I will bosses or d'oeuvres up your uh, your guardy, and then uh, I'm gonna do 520 damage with single strike crush. Goodbye. Don't eat him. And I'll take my two prizes. Nice, Serena. So then I bring up Zashi and I take two more prizes. And then we go boom boom game. That's it. They have no Ronald or Curlia. Yup. They got nothing. There's a Ralts. So they can't evolve into Guardi. They can hit me for like 180. But all I have to do is take two more prizes this next turn and then finish the game with a couple of Pokemon and we should win. As long as my Pokemon or my opponent doesn't put any Pokemon into play that I can't knock out. The Temple of Sinnoh is annoying. Hmm. Okay. But I can still just do 220. So it doesn't matter. Like that's the that's the most insane thing, right? Is you're like, oh, I just don't even care, yeah. And then I'm gonna discard the Temple of Sinnoh. Right? 
which is so insane. Okay. And we'll do Tempest Dive. So it's like, yeah, the Temple of Sinnoh, like, it does a little bit, but not really. It just makes you have to use Tempest Dive for a turn. It's better paired with, like, Roxanne. I uh, they got knockout on my Tyranitar, but that does not matter. I will just set up checkmate. I don't have any Pokemon in play that they can trap with anything. So we should be good to go. When I have Temple, I'll turn the one to ignore V Guard. That makes sense. I don't really think they have a route. Zashi and Stone. Yeah. Yeah, there that is a route. Zashi and Stone, if they evolve. Yeah, so I could just go Luminian for boss. That's fine. Yeah. I agree with that. Give me a heads. Woohoo! Show me all. There's a boss in my deck. Very good. Oh, wait. Now I've got Illuminium on my bench. What if they trap it with something? Nah, they don't play trap cards, right? They would never do that. I don't think there's any Pokemon they can put into play that's safe now. So we should be good. You think I just activated their trap card? Come on. Nar. All right, big research. Shining Arcana. It's not enough. It's GG's. They had a pretty good start that game. I mean, they had double rare candy, double guardy turn two. It's kind of nuts, though. I feel this bar here coincides with absolutely nothing. Have any of you guys realized that? This blue bar is meaningless. <laughs> what does this blue bar, what is it supposed to mean? Yeah, that bar means nothing. Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> we 
Win or lose, knowledge is power. It's the status from zero to nine. It doesn't, it, it's so like visually not intuitive though. If it does stand for something, I don't know what it stands for. Dang, bruv. Just give me the Lugia. I think I'm playing a Lugia Mirror, right? You know what's crazy is like, look at, look at the sleeves on your opponent's deck. Like, these sleeves are all facing this way, but the deck and the prizes are facing the other way. <laughs> you guys ever notice that? I just noticed it, but... Thank you, Anbu, for the Prime sub. And Chase Mamba for that Prime sub. See? Oh, but then it flips, like, from the underneath. Yes. Got it. Yo, shout out to all the Primers out there. Thank you for spending Jeff Bezos' money. On Tricky Jim. I really appreciate that. All right. So they got a Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX in the deck. Okay. It's fine. And they Ultra Balled away in Archaeops. Okay. Sure. We started a single prizer. That works. We'll Ultra Ball away... Oh, I shouldn't Ultra Ball yet, but that's fine. Should have Great Ball first. Yeah, I should have Great Ball first. Do you think they got turn two Gus knock out my Lugia? I do play Burnett. Yeah. But I think I'm just going to go. I play two Burnett. Okay, that's fine. How important is it for me to get two Lugia down? Ugh. I feel like if they Gus knock out my Lugia turn two, I'm probably losing this game anyway, so. We're just going to say you ain't got it like that. Yeah. Two Burnett is sick for sure. I was playing two Burnett the whole time. I think that that card is... It's one of the only things that makes me be able to stomach playing this deck right now. Is plentiful access to Burnett. Oh, they've got nothing. Fantastic. You don't even want... You don't want, like, the one... The one Archeops dealio that's, that's not for you? Okay, let's capturing Aroma. Heads. Perfection. Is it, though? Mm, questionable. Okay, we'll go here. And then we're going to attach here. And just flip heads. Yeah. 
Yeah, just flip heads, bro. Yeah, see? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, this deck's easy. <laughs> Yeah, this this deck's smooth sailing. Okay. So yeah, look at that. This game's easy. So the the points I'm getting from chat, they're saying it's the it's your progress. No, I'm nowhere near Ultra Ball tier, dog. Yeah, that can't be true. No, that that bar just means nothing. It's just bugged. Yeah, I mean, it literally means nothing. Yeah, it's just bugged. But I've been having a great time, so yesterday was nice after grinding all last week to get the, the Bax Caliber video out. Yesterday, I got to just chill out and play some Mario Kart. That was great. I enjoyed that. I also downloaded the demo for Octopath Traveler. I love the visuals. I think it's like one of the most beautiful games like that I've ever seen. But I just don't know if I'm nerdy enough to play it. <laughs> Does anybody, you feel me on that? Anybody? I just don't know if I got it in me, you know, to just play like a real like RPG like that, you know. I just don't know. I don't think I'm gamer enough. I loved the graphic. I'm playing the demo. I still kind of like it. But I just don't... I don't know if I'm... All those... You know, obviously, I play Pokemon. So, like, I understand turn-based RPGs. Like, I get it. But, like... It's just everything else about it. And like, I love Zelda. I'm going to play, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely geeked out about the, uh, absolutely geeked out about the new Zelda game coming out. I'm going to know life that. For sure. But what made me want to download the demo, you get like three hours to play. You know, and just get, like, as far as you want, I think, in three hours. So that's been kind of cool. One Archeops down. I got a dark cry. I could just Ultra Ball and read the wind. I mean, there's, like, a chance that they knock me out. Let's just go for Messy Goza. See what we got. So free. The Octopath game seems sick. Like, I mean, I obviously I downloaded the demo because I found it was interesting, but like those I've never been into like Final Fantasy or anything, you know? I guess I think part of the deal is like I've not I'm not really like I like video games, but I don't feel like I'm like a gamer gamer, you know. Like, I think video games are cool and all. I enjoy video games. But I'm not like a... A gamer. Let's see, what did I do? I can't game just a game, you know?
You think they're knocking me out this next turn? No, they didn't knock me out. It's kind of like, I thought about it like this. Like, I like reading books, but I can't just read books to read books. I have to have, like, a vested interest, an invested interest, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, I love, I love, I enjoy video games, but I can't just play games mindlessly just to play games. Like, I have to have a, I have to have like a very specific interest or draw to the game. Same with books. I love books. You know, I read Lord of the Rings the other year uh, during the pandemic, and it was one of the most joyful experiences I've ever had. But I can't just read books to read books, I have to be like compelled. And then I feel like I go through gamer lulls too. There's times where I just can't play any video games. Because I'm like, dang, I just feel like I'm wasting time. I was lately, I've been in that kind of like gamer lull lately, just waiting for the new Zelda to come out. Because I know I'm going to play it. Like that was... The original Breath of the Wild, the first Breath of Breath of the Wild, it's not even called Breath of the Wild 2, but I still think of it as that in, the head, in my head. Um, Breath of the Wild was like one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had, honestly. Just 100 hours of pure bliss. So I'm very thrilled about Breath of the Wild 2. You know, and I've enjoyed quite a few games over the years. But I have to be, like, motivated to play one. It feels similar to reading books to me. I have to be, like, motivated to read a book. All right, let's see what we can do. Nice swung. 150 damage. I got the regen energy. Heads. But the regen energy doesn't do anything because of that. I got tails. That's not what I want. You're weak to grass, not fighting. That's so not cool, dude. Okay. Oh, but I can't play the collapsed because then I won't have this is so cringe it's fine I have to go here I guess I could evolve this one and then I still take the knockout on this dark ride yeah we're going to do that alright so we're going to go here and we're going to go summoning star and we're going to get these gamers out of the discard pile. Right. And then we collapse to discard Lugia V. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay. Retreat. I discard you. Goodbye, sir. And then I'm going in. <laughs> okay. We got Primal Turbo number one. We got these. And then I got Primal Turbo number two. Wahoo! And we're going to go Gift and V-Guard. And uh, that's pretty cool. And you're done, bud. See ya. 280 damage. Discard those cards. Don't care. Whole deck's a pile. None of it matters. There's almost nothing that I can discard off of that that makes me even flinch. <laughs> Sometimes, I guess your urns are important, but you, so long as you got one in your hand, you're all right. Yeah, once the Archaeops are here, yeah, let it rip. 
But I really love Mario Kart. I do. Like, there are video games that I love very much. Obviously, Pokemon, you know. Uh, I'm still playing through my Emerald Nuzlocke. Uh, shoo. I mean, I've I've had a lot of really devastating run enders, unfortunately. But it's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying that on original hardware. And I love the aesthetics of Octopath Traveler. I, I think that, like... I started the game as one as like the thief character. Well, first I started the game as the dancer, uh, and was I got like three minutes into the dancer story and was like, I I can't I can't do this. Like I I got to reroll. So I turned it off and then, <laughs> and then I turned it. I was like, this is this is cringy at best. So then I turned it off and then was like, all right, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try the thief character and see how that goes. And the thief character was cool, and I was like having fun and stuff, and it like drops you back. It drops you like right into some battles, and I'm like, okay, all right, I get it. Like this is fun. Um, and then like, you know, when you're done with like the thief intro sequence, it like brings you up into the overworld, and there's like, you know, it's like nighttime in a city. And uh, and the city was beautiful. I mean, it looks it looks gorgeous. I never played Octopath Traveler one, uh, but I've heard people raving about the graphics, and I love pixel graphics. So like, so I downloaded the demo just to kind of play around and see what it feels like, and it's sweet. I mean, it's awesome. And uh, like, even just walking around the city, like honestly, uh. Like, I have almost no interest in in JRPGs or anything like that. I mean, other than Pokemon, I guess. Does that count? It's technically an RPG. It's definitely Japanese. <laughs> but I have no interest in games like Final Fantasy and stuff like that. You know, I'm not like a big Square Enix head. You know, I'm not into that. Does it count? It counts? Yeah. All right. So I'm not like, but I'm not into other ones other than... Other than Pokemon. But the art direction alone on Octopath has got me interested in even just... Because it's just such a fun experience walking around the world. Like, I don't have any interest in in those kinds of games, really. But walking around the world is such a joy that I'm like, okay, I'll play it. You know, I'm kind of interested to go back and poke around some more. So I'm playing against some sort of Arceus deck. Mm, okay. We just go Luminion for... Uh, yeah, yeah. For sure. They got no energy down. Burnett, baby. This is how we do it. Cool. <laughs> Professor Compressor. <laughs> but as someone who really appreciates good art style, you know, like I can't express enough how like some beautiful art direction can really, you know, can really uh, change a, an entire gaming experience. It really does. You know, there's games that I'll play just because, uh, I mean, like the game A Short Hike. I absolutely loved that game, A Short Hike. I think it's incredible. It's one of my favorite games that I've played on the Switch. But part of what I love about that game is just the cute little art direction. It's so charming and fun. You know, the gameplay is fun. I feel like I should judge. But I don't want to ultra ball away. There's two researches. But I do feel like that's probably what I should do. Drawing cards doesn't matter once you, you know. Once you got the dude set up. Who cares? Wait, you play a Derald on VBAX? Oh, God. 
Hold up, this is a code red, dog. <laughs> okay. No, I don't got no Duralda on counter. <laughs> Looks like it's time for fish number two. It's fine. I'll have four prizes in play that I can knock out after this. You don't need a Duraldon counter. Look at me now. Look at me now. What you need a Duraldon counter for? Who plays Duraldon? Nobody. One of those should have probably been a gift, but it's all good. Don't I only have one boss left? No, I got Serena's. So we're chilling. How often does regenerative energy accomplish its mission? Like, never. But it's cool. Listen, we're just in the jet energy waiting room, all right? We all know that this deck is a pile of garbo. It's fine. What I play, I feel like the regenerative energy is like useful enough against the lost box matchup. Yeah, when you get crammed to your, like cram, yeah, into regen, that feels so good. You think we top deck the uh, Serena here? Dang it. This stinks. Have they used their V-Star power yet? No. Dang it. You think they're going to Sharon's Care? Do you think they play Sharon's Care? They definitely play Sharon's care, right? So I think I need to not hit them. I think the best bet's like legitimately to not touch them. Right. Okay. I don't think I have enough. Single. No, I don't have enough energy. To hit 220 with this guy. So. I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't have spread those energies out. That's a misplay on my part. They can't kill Titar. Yeah, that's true. So I think... Let's put that energy... That seems like an egregious waste, but that's fine. Okay, I'll pass. I can't swing into the Arceus because if I do, then that gives them the option to Sharon's care, right? 
So I have to one hit KO the Arceus, which is what we're trying to do. So that's fine. So I just let this Lugia get sacked, right? You don't need a Dura, dude. What you need Dura for? Look at me go. Primal Yerbo. Cool. I'd do it again. Okay. Retreat that. Don't care for the Pokemon, none of that. I've got the game-winning boss in hand. Do you think they have a choice belt in their hand? I don't think it's worth judging, even. Because the only way I lose is if I don't have Gust, and I could discard my Gust. So. 320! See you, buddy. Take our two. They ain't got the choice, bro. It's GG's. Told you. Let's go, baby. Nothing really matters to me. That's right. Me in the tuxedo shirt. Cranking out another dub. New tier just dropped. Oh, that's a real fine looking striped shirt. Man, that has got me itching to go try it on. Whew. That is a fine striped shirt right there. Yo, it's the double shirt combo? Okay. The fire hoodie? All right. If someone rolls up to your spot wearing the cargo pants... <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't trust anybody with this fit bro <laughs> yeah you you can't 
No, I got to have the chicken nuggets out for sure. The Uggs, though. Uh, okay. I think I've been converted. Oh, yeah, the Uggs. Okay, what about the hats? Pink bucket hat. Yo, this fit is f fire. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yo, the flame pockets? The, f the fire cargos? The pink jeans? All right, the pink jeans. What are you guys feeling? I don't know. There's something very powerful about the black cargos. Oh, yeah. He's got the drip on him for sure. My stats. Those aren't very impressive. <laughs> That's fine. Let's keep it pushing. Oh, yeah, this deck is broken, dude. My turn. <laughs> yeah, with the Tyranitar Spice? I don't think we bench anything yet, though. We just attach the gift and pass. And then be nice if I top deck a... Regenerative energy or something. <clears throat> Top deck regen energy. Judge into double Archeops Ultra Ball. I was going to say it's fine. There's no way they have the turn one Colrus's experiment, but it looks like they do actually have the turn one Colrus's experiment. Burnett off the top? You're right. Brigetti spaghetti off the top. Dang, Charizard down. Sableye down. Okay. Professor Compressor. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about Professor Compressor quite a bit. <laughs> Professor Compressor. It's <sighs> funny. V Guard. It's not the one I want. All right, Radiant Serena, you're in.
Um, I think I'm just going to judge and not evolve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Broken, what the heck, bro? <laughs> Dang, I am so good at this game, bro. Dang, what the heck? Check this out. And then this is like the scariest thing. Is just getting craggalanched, bro. Like what? <laughs> just out here. Yeah, I'll take two. Off the top. I got elegant heal. Judge. Yup. And I'm gonna just keep milling too. Escape. That's fine. They got another spit innocently queued up. That's fine. They did not hit the Culverus this turn. I'm about to mill a Culverus 100%. Yo, Luminion too? I'm so blessed. Getting Primal up in here. Show me the double turb. Elegant heal. <laughs> so sick. Watch my wow, it's true. Gotta look out for that. Ah, uh, they got a Colrus Dang. I don't think they actually play a way to like ramp up to attack with Charizard yet, right? And they're nowhere near 10 in the Lost Toilet, so. Oh, they are close to 10. What the heck? Now they're there. They are at 10. Fascinating. Three Sableye! But they got nothing. All right, we're chilling. Another turn of Elegant Heals. Shoo. I'm going in for uh, two more cards off the top. Oh, yeah, baby. Get that Clara. Get it out of here. See ya. Things you love to see. That. This Lugia is like almost fully healed now. 
Got a regen energy on this thing, so if they damage it, I'll heal it. Path. Cannot say that that really matters. So you're turning off your own Charizard. That's like your only out. Escape. Sure. My turn. Yeah, not gonna lie. I think you cooked yourself a little there, Brohan. 37 cards left in deck. That's absurd. Okay. Mesagoza. Yeah, 37 cards, and I don't need any of them, I know, right? I'll grab that. And, uh, okay. Craglanch, discard two. There goes Colrus. Another path. Okay. They haven't taken a prize yet. So I don't think that there's any route. No matter how many cards they put in the lost toilet. Why not evolve Lugia? There's no point, really. It's got a regen energy on it. I could do cheeky things. I already have an evolved Lugia. Okay. That way I can't get stuck by Mawile. I should have healed first, but I was, you know, just excited to be done with the game. Okay, here we go. We're going to burn it. Okay. Primal Turbo. Okay, and then Tempest Dive, and don't discard the stadium. Okay, yeah, like one of my only lose conditions at this point was for them to like trap my Serena, so it's fine. Just get rid of that. I mean, they could go Charizard and knock out my Lugia, and then it's okay. I just promote a Pokemon and knock it out for game. And I can just hope that I don't have the resources left in my deck to win, but I do. So that's GG's.
They're trying. But all I need are these guys. And I can just retreat and take the knockout for game. GG's. Regenerator, heal the Lugia. I should have. Regeneration. Like, I don't hate the regeneration. Energy. I feel like it, it is just the best other energy to play. Because. I don't. Have I lost? I haven't lost with L Luigi in this. Oh, no. Where's your shirt? All right. Looks like we're playing against Mew V Max. They're going first, and I'm hoping that the hand is dead. They've got a four seal stone though, so it can't be that dead. Uh, they're just going to use it to go get a battle VIP pass, presumably, which does mean that their hand is probably stinky enough. So that's good. They probably can't draw too many cards. We've got double Ultra Ball. So, that's solid. And they're wasting a vacuum already. Getting rid of Roxanne, which is real good. They're going to Jenny for one. And they can Jenny for two. Nar. They got the battle VIP pass. Nar. It's fine. This matchup can definitely be sketchy. Judge path, you know? It hurts. Got another single strike energy, which is fine. I can ultra ball those both away. And go get a chops. And then I'm going to ultra ball away the chops and the collapsed. And I'm going to go get another Chops. And I just better research into two Lugias, just straight up. 100%. Let's go. See? Just like that, chat. Okay, pass. Easy as that. Well, now one of my Lugias is definitely going to get decimated, but... Oh, you're down. Power tablets! Easy, dog, easy. Getting judged. If they don't have like a rope, that would be sick.
Tails on Cram. Forest, they've already used. Sweet. We're going in, folks. So all I need is a Lugia V-Star. It's a lot of energy to get rid of, which is kind of annoying. It's fine. Don't need it. All right. And then we got to flip tails <laughs> on this guy. Dang it. Not what we wanted. It's fine. Um, okay. Let's do this. And we'll get Primal. With the V-Guard. Sure. To the active. And then, it's definitely not a bench Luminian angle, so we'll attach that. for turn over here and just Tempest Dive. And we just got a couple of beefy dudes. We're chilling. Big chilling. We don't have any liabilities in play, that's great. I was a little bit worried about this. It's okay. Gust up, knock out Archaeops. Limit the amount of energy I can accelerate into play. That's fine. Okay. Extremely cool. So, if I go single strike, let's see. I can attack with a single strike evil tall for knockout this turn. Should I just get Tyranitar? I can do it with Tyranitar too, though. So that's fine. We'll do that. Because I just get the single strike and the double turbo. Yeah. Manually attach that. 
retreat the double turbo. And then is it worth it to Luminion? Probably not. We just save that in the deck. All right, we'll single strike crush. Got one urn left in the deck. The urn was not in the deck. It was in my prizes, but now it's in my hand. <laughs> so we're fine. Yeah, easy. They they already didn't they like lost on their Roxanne. Yeah, we're chilling. Free. Even if they do, like, play a power tablet, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have enough power tablets left. Yeah. To Yeah, they're just going to scoop. Yeah, the only way that they would... Oh, God! <laughs> Put your clothes on. That's right, baby. That's right. That was the freest tear ever. Didn't even flip the coin. I'd love to go first. That's crazy. Wait, so I got to pick. Are you telling me the coin flip is all a facade? The game chooses who goes first. <laughs> the coin flip is all fake, bro. Thank you, Noah. For that tier one sub. Yeah. The coin flip, it's all a facade. Okay, we're playing a mirror and I'm going first. I would like to select to take my one mulligan card, please. Go and sate off the top. Easy. So long as this flips the tails, we're gravy. Oh, lordy. <laughs> okay. You know, okay, in this one... In this singular situation, that would have been better off as a as a nest ball. That great ball would have been better. Nah, see, bro, their deck's a pile too. <laughs> Here we go. Lands pulse. It's the tails again. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <clears throat> uh, they're going to get Luminion now. Okay. I 
and they got to research. Okay. Going for another Tyranitar. They don't even care about Lugia. All right, there's Lugia. Two Lugias. That's right. Hmm. So it should just be as simple as... Man, this... This hand... Is some garbage. That's fine. We flip heads here. I don't even have to really think about it. Eh, that's a cursed mess of goes, isn't it? Gotta be those. Give him the old summoning star. Uh, I'm not going to use my Luminian for no reason. That seems like a bad idea. So if I do 120, it's not just 120, it's 140, 160. That'll do it. So I'll put one of these gamers up here on the stone journer. And then we put that there, and we'll primal. Yeah, there's not a lot of energy left, but that's fine. There's enough. Put those over onto that guy. And then give him the giggity hammer. See, there's no reason to use the Luminian now because I already got Luminian in my hand. Like, I'm winning the prize trade. All I need to do is to go two, four, six, right? It's all we got to do, like, in order to win the game. So just save your gusts, right? It's like, don't, no need to overextend, no need to do things we don't need to do. Just stay the course, let the deck play itself. All you have to do is not get in the way, right? The deck is trying to win. <laughs> when you're playing Luigi, all you have to do is not get in the way. Just let the deck win, understand? The deck is broken. <clears throat> How are we finishing this? I don't know. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I wasn't planning on them to collapse the Lumini in this turn, but it's fine. <laughs> I think I'm down one urn, right? That's fine. This thing's got a V-Guard on it. Okay. So Tyranitar at maximum is good for, is it 240 plus 80 is 320? So Tyranitar can technically do it. I just gust up the Luigi this turn, though, and then I just go gung-ho Tyranitar for game. Yeah, that's it. So it's actually pretty easy. Sweet. 
I should have attached that double turbo to the Tyranitar, but it's fine. Oh, they have a V guard on it, huh? Mm. It's annoying. Um. Hmm. I was not paying attention to the V guard. I just gust up and swing into their Tyranitar, honestly. It's fine. Could smack the active. It's fine. We're fine. I ain't got no energy left in this deck. That double turbo definitely should have been here. I'm throwing! You guys know how I said just don't get in the way of the deck? I'm doing that. <laughs> you know how that's exactly what I said not to do? We're doing it. It's fine. We're still in a good spot. But we are low on energy. And I need to find my final urn. They need all four single strike energy to knock out this thing. I was thinking maybe they have one prized. Or like one, yeah. If they have one prize, they can't hit the knockout. So. Because they're only doing 300, they need to do 310. Uh, I thought about knocking out the Archeops, but I'm on even prizes, so absolutely not. So, yeah, you just want to, like I said, two, four, six. Do not stray from, <laughs> do not stray. Two, four, six. Yeah, stay on course. See, they ain't got it. And now we've got Tyranitar, which can, like, blast for game if it needs to. Okay. Still looking for our urn. They got V guards on both their Luigi's actually, so it's fine. It's probably gonna have to be a two hit KO on one of their Lugias for game. It doesn't really matter. You know, they would have to get out of Tyranitar in order to knock out my Tyranitar, which they could do, but they'd have to recover all these single strikes too, so they would also have to have urn in their hand. It looks like that's not what they're doing. They also have both Tyranitar and the discard pile, so I think the Tyranitar gig is up. The question is, will I have the energy I need to finish this game off? Valid question. <laughs> I hear your concerns loud and clear. I don't think that they have somebody who can one hit KO my Tyranitar, though. So I don't think it matters. I think I'm just coming up for a two hit KO with Tyranitar.
right? Like, how, how could they possibly... What? They don't even... Oh, well, I didn't realize they weren't even KOing this turn. That's nuts. Yo, the Luigi who lived? What the heck, bro? All right, now I have one very specific lose condition. I need to make sure my opponent does not play into. So that's fine. Cool. Yeah, I needed my opponent to not try and like boss his orders up my Archeops. I didn't necessarily have an energy to retreat it. <laughs> okay, guys, this is. good <clears throat> I don't think I've lost with Lugia yet it's kind of sick Invisibility pants. Dang, man. This game owns. <clears throat> All right, the script writer's letting me go first. No, dang it. That's fine, we got turn one Burnett easy. And they mulligan. I don't even know what kind of deck you're playing, dog. What is this? Yeah, it's looking like comfy and stuff. That's fine. Sablezard, Lost Box. Yeah. Start off with Battle VIP Pass. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. I've got Regen Energy, though, so that's nice. And I've got Radiant Serena. So... I can just hopefully hit tails on capturing aroma and attach regenerative energy to a Lugia V. And then if they like have to escape rope or something. Oh, right. Nam, I did forget. I have more cards in my opponent than my, in my deck than my opponent. That's true. So I didn't have to worry about getting decked out there, yeah. That's true. I forgot to check to see what their deck count was. Good thought. Just don't like getting stuck, you know. Who does? All right, guys. I need your tails energy. Ah, oh, never mind. Heads. <laughs> yes. Glorious. Yeah, that's... Uh... 
typical Lugia looking hand, if you ask me. Sure. And uh, it's a pass from me, dog. What's the Yveltal do? He'd just be swinging. I don't know. He's here. He hits for Dark Weakness and is not Tyranitar. Yeah. Dark type weakness is a big, big weakness to hit for. Can one hit KO Mew and Guardi. So it's useful. It can one hit KO Mew and Guardi if you don't want to have a two prizer, which is like relevant since your whole deck is like two prizers and one prizers. So you want to be able to like offset the trade. If your opponent's on evens, you can go force them to odds, which is, you know, generally a game winning strategy. Man, I was hoping that you were going to escape rope so that I could use my regenerative energy, but it's fine. Be that way. Summon the stars. Get these guys. And... Uh, Do some healing. Good. How many cards you got in the lost uh, toilet over here? Six. Okay. It's not too much that you have to gust in this deck. I feel like I might as well gust the Sableye. You know? The question is, do I want to do it with this evil tall and just let them take another single prize? Or do I like retreat this to the bench and like let it kind of heal over the course of many turns? I kind of like that better, I think. That's fine. Okay. We'll go Tempest Dive, discard your stadium. And then, you know, if I can get a couple of heals on this evil tall, it'll be annoying for them to chase it down. So that'd be nice. We'll go for that. That's like, I feel like primarily what we want to do in this matchup is just try to get big dudes out be annoying if i could get a tyranitar that's like the ideal strategy is to get tyranitar out and start milling like fast but this hand and super uh isn't like super into tyranitar right now ain't no tyranitar here In fact, not a whole lot of anything going on here. Any of you guys watching Ted Lasso? I've been loving the uh loving the newest season myself what a feel good show
I ain't spoiling, but it's it's been great. I'll say that. I've loved it, but I won't spoil it. Uh, let's go capturing aroma. I didn't pre-order Zelda because I'm just going to buy it digitally, so. Yeah, I just want it. I just want a digital copy. Oh, it's elegant heel. You know, that's cool. Put a gift energy onto Archeops. And Tempest Dive. It's fine. And I'll take my price. Game size is supposed to be huge. Well, I've got a huge SD card. I don't know. I don't like... The only thing that I like about buying physical media is like the case or whatever. But honestly, I, I think those are kind of like cooler in the past. I mean, it's like old, uh, like old retro cases are cooler than, uh, than the new ones. And then... But the thing is, is that, like, when you buy that cartridge, it's not the full game. They're going to patch that game, like, instantly. Or release DLC or whatever. I, that's my biggest beef, is that, like, the game you're buying out of the store is not the full game anymore. It's not the full game. Like, back in the day, that was the game, right? But now, it's like, it's only a portion of the game. So, who cares? You'd rather have version 1 from a cart than no version from a defunct online store? Well, that's not true, because once you buy the game, you just have it, right? I mean, it's like once you download it onto your onto your SD card, isn't it just on your SD card? Like you just have it. Like if I buy the game from the digital store and download it onto my SD card, it's still there. Like all my 3DS games, I still got all my digital download 3DS games. Yeah, that's true, Brandon. Yeah, if you got kids and stuff, 100%. Passing around in a single game makes sense. What do they do? They took a prize? That's not cool. How did the Serena get in the active? What are you doing up there? Time to mill some stuff. I mean, I love, uh, you know, I do like, I like like retro physical media, like for sure, like collecting old cartridge games and stuff like that. I'm super into it for sure. Like, I don't, like, I'm super, I'm super into like, old Nintendo cartridges, but you're not going to get me feeling any type of way about like CDs though, right? Like I'm never going to buy a, a CD again, ever. <laughs> I don't really care. I like the old Nintendo 64 carts, Super Nintendo carts. Like that stuff is sick. I don't feel any type of way about, it's just a, it's literally a memory card. 
<laughs> like, bro, the Switch game is literally a memory card. So what's the difference between buying the memory card with a little sticker on it and just downloading the game onto my memory card? There's no difference. Other than like the logistical things of not being able to pass it around. But that's it. You get the case. Right? What I'm saying is I don't feel any type of way about the new cart. I don't feel any type of way about it. I don't feel like I need one, right? <laughs> you can't sell it? You think I'm going to sell my Tears of the Kingdom game? You think me? I'm going to sell Tears of the Kingdom. Absolutely not. No. Keeping that game forever, bro. I get it. With games that I... Uh, with games that I don't care as much about that I might resell, I'll buy a physical copy because I might resell it. But for games that I'm like in love with, I want to just have it on the... I'm not going to lie. I get so upset when I have to get up off my couch and dig around in my little case and go find the cart and then put it into the switch. That is, bro. It should be like Hulu. I should just be able to pull it up and pick the game I want. Nice, we got that Raihan and a Halucha. That's pretty good. Lysol streams, ownership is fake anyways. You don't own anything. You can't take it with you. We're all just borrowing everything anyway. What is ownership? We're all just renting everything from the from the earth. <laughs> I want to be buried with my copy of Breath of the Wild too. You wouldn't download a car. Well, yeah, because I can't. <laughs> you wouldn't download a car, would you? <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, what stadium's in play? Yeah, I'll, I'll, we're discarding that. Yizzer. Yeah, I, benching this is like, even if you had an echoing horn or something, I don't know, man. Yeah, there's nothing. There ain't nothing, like, nothing you can do.
Isn't it better for the environment to download games? Is there like... What? Are you minimizing waste or anything? Come on now. Less packaging. Listen, I already use up my my packaging quota with Pokemon cards, all right? I already use up my... <laughs> yeah, I probably am already way above what I should be... Should be using. With Pokemon cards alone, so... Well, it makes sense. It makes sense that that they offer both download and and physical copies, right? It's just interesting. I mean, look at like a decade ago, CDs were not obsolete, but now they are, right? It's interesting to think like, do you guys think in a decade will the will the physical games just be obsolete? Or do you think gamers will get too mad? Not until we solve rural bandwidth. That's true. That's a good point. I mean, I love physical media. I'm someone who literally, like, you know, look at this. I'm someone who plays a tabletop card game. Like, I get it. I love, I love tangible stuff. I get it 100%. I'm kind of just, you know, feeding a discussion, really. I also, like, I just like having... In my, like, idealist world, I just, like, turn on the switch and I just, I'm a convenience fiend, all right? I'm a convenience fiend. I I love, I love convenience. I love it, okay? I absolutely love it. When it comes to me sitting on my couch... I love just being able to turn on the switch and there's all the games. It actually, it make it like when I scroll over to a switch title and it shows the like insert cart thing that drives me nuts. <laughs> I've considered rebuying the game just so that I don't have to put the cart back in the thing anymore. That drives me absolutely insane. It's like, I have the game. You're telling me I have to get up off the couch and I have to go put it in. It makes me not even want to play the game anymore. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, it's the... You're not ready for this, okay? You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. It's the same thing as having to get up off the couch and change the channel manually with your finger. It's the same thing. Nobody does that anymore because we have remotes now, okay? Nobody does that. In fact, having to walk up to the thing, okay, and change the car out, that is, it's like we're living in the 60s, bro. In the world of remote everything, you're telling me I still got to go fiddle around with the carts and put the right one in the thing and I can only play one at a time? That's ridiculous. I should have instant access to all of the titles all at once.
listen, I ran three miles yesterday, you know? I went for a workout. I'm not lazy. I just, you know, there's some things that are just unnecessary. <laughs> so what you're telling me is we need a multi-cart loading system like those fancy... Bro, I had... I had a CD player with a three-disc changer. Did anybody else? All right, who all in the chat? Who in the chat had a CD player that a CD player that could hold multiple CDs at the same time, bro? Who had one? We're doing a poll, bro. I <laughs> a multi-disc CD player. I did. I did not. What is that? <laughs> Yo, the three disc, it was like this huge tray and you could put multiple discs in and the CD player would hold like three to six. I've seen a lot of fivers. Yeah. And then like it would it would like churn between them. Yeah. And you felt like you were a a DJ. Like you felt like you were the freaking coolest. Like, yeah, bro, you guys want to listen to Sum 41? I got Blink 182 in there. And if my mom's not listening, we can listen to Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> Burning CDs, bro. Yeah. Making mixtapes, for sure, dude. I used to make the meanest mixtapes. Listen, I'm like, I love physical media. I do. You know, I, I mean, I love Pokemon cards. I still get Thrasher magazines, like paper magazines. But for some reason, I just don't feel that way about my video games. Brandon says you couldn't get a date in 1993 if your mixtape game was whack. That's so sick. I mean, even when I was in college, when I was in college in 2007, uh, you know, mixtape, your mixtape game was still big. Like burning CDs, you know, giving people mixtapes, things like that. Like that was still, that was still big for sure. I definitely have made a non-zero amount of mixtapes for the various women in my life throughout the years. <laughs> it's like, I've definitely done that <laughs> for sure, bro. It's like, yeah, song five really makes me think of when we're hanging out. <laughs> oh. All right, we had, man, you're telling me only 25 people voted in this? 65% of you had a uh, had a multi-disc CD player. 15 people did, 5 did not, and 5 and 3 said, "What is that?" Yeah, I think that's a sign chat. When I was in college, I mean, yeah, there's, you guys remember like the CD visor you had in the car with the CD visor? Bro, you could keep like 20 CDs up there. Yeah, that was sick. When I was away at college, I got my CD visor stolen. Like, who would steal that? You wanted all my mixtapes, bro? 
<laughs> Someone stole my CD, my CD, <laughs> my CD visor, bro, right out my car. <laughs> All right, this is the Lugia list. I wish I could show you the whole thing, but I can't. What's the easiest way to view a deck list on the internet? It's not this. Anybody know? Export it, right, and then go where? Pokemoncards.io? All right. Or Limitless, huh? What's better, Limitless? That was easy. Yeah, not gonna lie. That was about as easy as it gets. Wow. Man, it'd be crazy if like, man, I wish our client could do this. That'd be sick. Maybe one day. Man, that was, whew, that was too easy, bro. Chat's blocking some of the list. All right, I'll get chat out of the way. Get out of here, chat. All right. So this is the list that we were playing. We did not lose a game. Actually, we played quite a bit. I don't know what my win streak was. Probably like 15 or 12 or something. I feel like it was a while. You guys want to go see what it was real quick? Or probably tell me. Right? I think you have to go to your... If I go to my profile, it's probably my longest win streak, so... On live. I have not played live very much, so... My current win streak, it's 11. All right. That's not bad. Total matches played, 420. All right, so at 11 win streak's not bad. Where'd it go? Hmm. Limitless. I just had it. Come back. Don't make me do this again. It's fine. Easy. So this list we've been playing. I haven't really felt like nest balls are necessary. Um... I don't know. These two great ball spots could be nest balls, could be great balls. I never really feel like I have trouble getting my Lugias into play. I usually feel like... Mr. Wogue says, seeing my desktop folder slightly off-grid feels very in-character for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's actually just a big development that there's folders at all. If you've been watching the channel for a while, then you know that that is not always the case. A two boss, two Serena's felt good. It's felt like a very appropriate amount of supporters. You know, eh, when you're playing this deck, ultimately, you're going to have to have some flips go your way, which is kind of the extremely frustrating thing about the deck. I think Great Ball's cooler than Nest Ball in this deck. Like I said, I never have trouble... I mean, in all the games that I played just there, I didn't have any trouble getting my Lugia Vs into play. 
at one game. I didn't get the turn one Lugia V, and I still won that game. Two urns? Yeah, well, how many prizes are you taking with your, uh, your Tyranitar? Every Tyranitar attack should be two prizes at least. And you only need two single strike energy per Tyranitar. You're chilling. Three regenerative seems unnecessary. Well, that's the thing about regenerative is in order for it to work, you have to play it in hind counts, right? Because in order for it to work, you have to see it. So I feel like it's a three or zero situation because with two regenerative energy you'll never use like really never use it true you can hit you could go all four well uh, the two urns are fine i didn't really feel precious be careful don't play like a ding dong you know be careful. Be careful. You're you'll be fine. Three urn is also fine. I do like two Burnett. Burnett feels like a card where it's like if you just have that card early, you're just set, right? I feel like Mew kind of all just like comes down to whether or not they go Judge Path and it sticks or not. But this list is admittedly more, this list is like more like leaning towards trying to beat Lost Box, right? It's it's trying to beat Lost Box. And you've got the Serena. Yeah. You got the regenerative energies. And we didn't lose to any Lost Box decks. I feel like Lost Box Charizard can't beat this deck. Just straight up. I don't know what kind of copium they are on. Like, is that my experience? Like, Y'all have that experience too? Like, Lost Box Charizard Sableye does not beat this deck. <laughs> Just straight up. Like, not even close. <laughs> Mawile. Okay. Well, what do they have? To, they have to trap a liability with Mawile, right? So, just like, don't bench Luminion. Or don't bench Serena. Or, you know, whatever. You bench Serena. That's fine. You can play a Penny. Use Penny. Yeah, you're fine. You know, if you wanted to... If you wanted to tech for that, you certainly could. So, that could be a viable option also. Like a, a Penny... Penny can also just like randomly get Luminion off your board, which isn't bad. Yeah, Penny's not terrible. It can heal a damaged Tyranitar. Just pick it up, put it into your hand. It can allow you to use Radiant Serena twice in a turn. That's sick. You go Elegant Heal, Penny Serena, put it back down, Elegant Heal again. Bro. Bro. Insanity. No, nah, Penny's not terrible. Penny does go into your hand, yeah. Great Ball is fine. I mean, it's just like, this could be whatever you want. It could be Nest Ball or it could be Great Ball. It's one of those two cards, right? I personally don't feel like I have ever needed Nest Ball in this deck. So for me, they're great balls. 
because Great Ball has an opportunity to hit the cards like Lugia and Archaeops, which I consider to be the hardest cards to find in the deck, or like the most important cards to find in the deck. And also, like, Great Ball can get you Luminion. Nest Ball just feels kind of terrible in here. But yeah. I have not been big on Nest Ball. Or feeling like I needed Nest Ball. I'm not sure that the Evil Tall, you know. The core is just kind of settled at this point. I feel like uh, Elugialists, they're not... There's not that much variation to them now. They're pretty... I feel like this is like a very vanilla Lugia list. So, cool. Thank you guys for the wonderful stream today. I'm getting out of here. Y'all have a good one. And I'll be back tomorrow. Jesse and I are going to be doing some Paldea Evolved Tabletop Gaming with new Paldea Evolved Decks. So, we got that going on tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, I've got Will Mantho in the house. Coming in with some, uh, some retro content. Some retro tabletop content. So, that'll be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for the, uh, the hype train today. The subs. Generosity. I really appreciate it. Helps us to keep doing what we do over here. Maybe I'll shave tomorrow as well. Maybe. We'll see. But it was fun. It was fun uh, just getting to play decks. Honestly, the Soul Rock deck, that was sick. Yeah, the Soul Rock deck today. Leveling up with the Soul Rock deck. That was fun. And then I'm going to the uh, Portland Regional Championships this weekend. So if you're going there, I'll see you there. See you.